Hello! We're back! I'm not, I'm not fixing my belt at all. I'm ready to go. No, I mean, I have got a belt on as well. I don't know. We've got to be careful. Um, <laughs> we are back. We had some slight technical difficulties, but we are ready to go. We've had our map picks. We're going to be showing them in a minute, along with our sieve picks to see what the response Exciting. is. Exciting. Very, very exciting. Shall we fly through the, uh, the map picks? Just the boys are ready to start sieve picking. So uh, we'll dive forward. Oh, here we go. Um, they're going to come up on screen now. Watch for the cannon. I did mention this. Here we go. Well, I think we're going to do the map picks first, and then we're going to do sieve picks. I think the map They've done the map okay. picks. Oh, so oh, there you go. You can see the map picks across <laughs> the top of your screen. Here comes some I mean, some we were going to talk picks. about them. We'll talk about 100%. We can talk about that. Let's get the, uh, the boys getting their sieve draft in. Here they go. Do you think they start thinking about Chaos Pit first, or do you think they think about their whole maps first? I mean, it's, it's a tricky one. First off, hype that Chaos Pit is going to be starting off our day. I know. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it's the way we finished last night's stream. And Gajara's first, ooh, first band coming in for Gajara's. I mean, the new sieves, Gajara's Hindustanis, Hindustanis have are the ones been you've got to be worried about, haven't you? Um, and this might be the case. Three Vamsha riders are just nutty. They are absolute filth. Aztecs. Aztecs. And Britons. So we're going for the, uh, the newer, the, the sort of older. There's the cannon. There's the cannon. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Um, so obviously we've got. Aztecs and Britons are very classic bands. Britain, I, Britain is the default band for my own sets. I mean, you just don't like playing against them, do you? No, it's, the it's range a, is just so awful to ob play obnoxious. against. Obnoxious. I'm going to go obnoxious. Obnoxious. Yeah, that's a, that's a higher tier word. So the maps we've got. Gold Rush, Hideout, Land, Madness, Beach Fight. I mean, there's a pretty uh, wide As variety of maps to play here, isn't there? Britain's, is, if Britain's doesn't feel particularly strong at any of these maps. They just mm. feel, to your point, obnoxious always to play against. And Aztecs, I feel, is the gold rush of, aren't they? Yes, 100%. So we'll see what the, uh, the thoughts are behind this. Obviously, the band's kind of are hopefully going to infer what they're, they're thinking about for their, their picks. Um, what's gone there? Poles. Poles, they're another tricky sieve. Well, they're I mean, such a good hideout sieve, though. Yes. I mean, that ability to kind of go on stone, uh, get that castle up, and it, it not really impact on your economy. Never. Um, and you've either got those sort of trash, uh, trash heavy cav coming in, uh, or, you know, <sighs> Go, going through their unique units, they're just a strong save in general. Um, so Lithuanians, fun fact, um, and um, we'll see if people are listening to this to, uh, a bit later on tonight. Lithuanians have the uh, best win percentage of any sieve in this tournament. Really? Yeah, currently at 83%. Do they, is there a time when they finish the game particularly? Uh, I would just like to say, by the way, that's my only fact about civilization, specifically win rates. But Lithuanians, 83% win rate in this tournament Amazing. at the moment. Yeah. Well, uh, Rex is going to win this set, and that's the end of it, and I guess we can and go that's, home now. Well, he's, he's going to get one, <laughs> which means we're not going to have a whitewash which we're after. <laughs> Franks um, seems like a good uh, sort of classic counter. Uh, they're good there. on Gold Rush. They're good, they're good on Land Madness. I, I yes. Tatar's coming in. We've seen a lot of Tatar picks. Um, just the hills. The beach fight hills. Yes, the beach fight hills. Um, we've seen some interesting spawns in beach fight, and Tatars have really come into their own. Um, you know, that, that um, bonus hill damage, not just applying, obviously, for their cav arches, but sort of across the board for, um, you know, Manganel fights, um, mm. anything else which uh, sort of comes forward. Though, as we did learn yesterday with the hilly water, um, you've got to be aware that fire ships don't get the hill bonus. Do they not? They don't, because each uh, projectile is too little amount of damage, so it doesn't actually qualify. I've That's been, so weird. I've been listening that is, to that is, AOE <laughs> is such an interesting game when you it, think about that. You've got to think of the original people coding mm. that were absolute. Huns and yeah. Berbers. Huns, I mean, are the land madness of. We, so it's I interesting mean, yeah. that it feels like Rex has three land madness civs. Yeah. Gold big, rush could, uh, Berbers could fit on Gold Rush, Lithuanians. I mean. Chaos. Uh, I think Chaos Pit. Uh, it's going to be interesting what the, the sort of approach is for. Um, Hideout, I mean, hideout, beach fight, I mean, beach fight, depending on the uh, generation, can be closed off, it can be pressurable. Mm -hmm. It's a lot on these, um, on the gold spawns and that, and that center spawn. But um, yeah, the, neither, of the, uh, neither of the players going for anything particularly sort of locked down yet. Uh, as I say that. They feel like just great sieves. Yes, they're just going for strong sieves. Lots of mobility so far, maybe not so much there with Teutons. Uh, and we've just seen Saracens coming in there with the ball. Saracens, I feel like, one of those sieves that you can really go for some wacky strats with. Um, Between the market, there are archers eat through walls. Yeah. You know, they make hideout not so safe. They make hideout not so safe. And also, if you expect that early sort of pressure with the archers, they can just market abuse, go up early cav archers, prevent mm. you expanding, and that can be a real uh, a real. Saracens in Japanese until the new expansion was the only sieves to get 
a complete archery range. That, that is a... Hand cannons and cavalry archers and all. That is... What a wealth of knowledge you are, sir. We're, we're learning. We're always learning. That's something the great thing about Something this game. had to teach me. Come here, come here. Very popular sieve. Another, another land madness sieve. Seems very heavy. Mongols as well. It, lots of coverage here. Um, but it'll be interesting. Mongols as well. You can go for. Um, we don't want to talk too much strategy. But obviously, I would say the players can hear us, but they are both <laughs> focusing <laughs> hard. Focusing hard and uh, you know strong, strong in, in terms of elo and, and much and smaller and much smarter at this game than we are. Oh, phenomenally. <laughs> we're, we're just here to entertain. Um, Rex has a lot of CA sieves, doesn't he? A lot of Between CA. the Berbers, the Huns, the Mongols, that, uh, truthfully, even Lithuanians. I mean, really want to. That's the one thing. Which I think you know you've got to be careful of. Um, Rex has managed to nab Berbers and Mongols. That's not really what you want to see because you know obviously. It, What's it, counter Mongols? Uh, yeah, Berbers. So it's one of those. <laughs> but at the same time, does the mole want to waste one of his picks on getting Mongols when Berbers already been picked? Right, 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 right. Not really. But it opens the door for um, Eustosaurus Rex to. Uh, he to saw get... he saw an opportunity in the draft and he took it. He did. We're not even in the games yet. I mean, Teutons, Teutons famously, they're not. They don't have the same mobility. So mm. if you can get Mongols, Berbers, Huns to their cavarches, you know, you can run around, uh, run around in circles. We saw it um, yesterday uh, in uh, in in some of the semifinals. I, um, I think a great thing about the land madness maps is the fact that they're very mobile. Mm. Right, so Rex has a great, lot of great mobile maps, um, uh, civilizations, and Mole, I think, with Chinese and with Magyars, has really upped his mobility to this set. Yeah, yeah, Chinese is, again, it's a, such a good, strong all-rounder. If you get super, super late game, there's little elements um, where you can say they maybe lack slightly, they're, you know, maybe struggle against mm. Siege Honor uh, and various other bits, but in terms of actually in that mid-game, early game, they're just so strong. They're so they're strong. So strong. That, and that ability and to go And difficult to read. Yeah. Yes, precisely. Going in those different directions, you never know what's quite going to be uh, coming forward for you. Um, so we will see what the response is. To the same thing about Chinese and how open, um, open tech tree wise they are. Mm. I feel like Magyars are open tech tree meta wise. Yes. Right. As much as Chinese can have a lot more off meta strats, Magyars can go all knights. They can go all arms, and they can both do them fully. Yeah, you do you, both of those fully. You, you tend to get less less of the arm play just because the 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 cavarches can can get so strong in that in that. Those, those power spikes are amazing. Oh, it's it's phenomenal. Um, but I mean, it'd be hard not to see um, Magyars. Double go double gold composition with Magyars is just oh, filth, absolute filth. I mean, it's it's all about you know either getting that power spike with the uh, the added attack. Well, the, the the free attack in in uh, each age up, or getting to those late game cavarches. Oh, they are incredibly hard to kill. Uh, but we'll see um, what the. Uh, I'm the really excited for the whole Cav Archer thing. We seem to be going there's, for the set. A big, there's a big Cav Archer. <laughs> what, what Cav Archer sieves do we not have on here? I mean, War Wagons? Uh. I mean, my favorite Cav Archer Turks. sieve, uh, Mayans. Uh, oh, yeah. Just to get, to get the casual, <laughs> casual plumes. They're basically. They're, they're basically cav Their skirms are, are great Cav Archers. <laughs> <laughs> the are just leg no, that's Lithuanians because they just leg it round oh, the map. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh. I was thinking Mayans with extra javelins. And that was me going, oh, no one's picked Mayans yet. Oh, I thought you were saying that based on. No, that. no, no. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> curse of the commentator. Curse of the commentator. He picked it and you start talking about mine. I was like, I'm looking at it. I see it. <laughs> it's the last pick. Last pick. What are we, uh, what are we thinking? Mm. I mean, this is, we were talking about this earlier. Truthfully, humans or Celts? I like, uh, that would be what I would go with. You're thinking beach fight, getting some, uh, getting some pressure. I am very happy with this pick, though. Japanese coming in for the mall. Oof. It, again, another, it's one of those, it can go in any direction, really. Uh, until late game, I mean, you can play strong cav, you can get, they're good water, they're good. Amazing they're, water. Their fishing ships just don't die. Um, and their eco, they've got such a good strong eco, um, you know, it's very um, malleable, you can, uh, you know, with your cheaper lumber camps and so on. It does feel like the mole has a lot more, inside of the civil civilizations, diverse options. Yes. Rex yeah, yeah. seems a bit more, if you go this civ, this is game plan. I would, I would completely agree. I think Rex has definitely flipped that slightly with his last two picks. Um, and to be honest, yes. it's, I mean, the well, boys, are, the boys are, are definitely thinking now. We'll see what their, uh, their response is here. But um, we'll, I, don't, I don't want to say, this is, as again, <laughs> it's the one time us. they can hear us. 
So we're, we're Otherwise, gonna, I don't know if you see it, but be, uh, you might be able to see behind Rex's uh, pets <laughs> the little red headphones that we've got for them. They put those on, and they are soundproof to nothing. Oh, we, I've, you know, we've tried it out. We had someone uh, sat there, and I was just screaming expletives at them. Not a single response. Well, you should have hired me to do that. I'm great at that. I mean, to be honest, it was quite lucky that we were wearing the headphones. But <laughs> otherwise, it would have been very awkward. Um, but we will see. What have they gone for? Huns and Saracens as the snipes. There we go. I think so, I like that. I think I like both those snipes. Mm, I think uh, yeah. felt maybe most dangerous for both of them. So here we go. So Huns and Saracens taken out. Huns obviously super strong without the uh, no house production. They are the land madness of Saracens. Uh, might be the most dangerous hideouts of besides poles these days. Yeah. Um, and we, we got a handshake and... Is he already? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I mean, this has all been building up. We had some, uh, you know, such good uh, viewers last week. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to load up. Whilst uh, you're watching, I'll load up chat, make sure we can see what's going on. Oh, yeah. On. One of us should have that going. And just see what delights as the boys get themselves set up. Um, we're, we're very lucky to have this space. I say lucky, obviously, Grandy, the, the, the main organizer for this event, has done so well, getting all these brilliant bits of equipment, the stream itself, all of these sort of elements we're watching. Well, we should give a shout out to the LAN project, the normal uh, people that are, we're on camera, by the way. We're, we're back. <laughs> um, I should apologize. I'm not on my phone texting my mum. No, we're looking for the chat so I'm we can see what you are saying so to we us can, because we, we are a, blind. So we can have a lovely we should, we should give a shout out to the land project. They are the normal people that take use of this venue when it's not being used by uh, the owners. And they have set us up with all the networking equipment and the tables and the setup. And they've made it super simple for us to move in. And we've had internet pretty consistently for the last 24 hours. I mean, it's been phenomenal. That's better. Fast internet. That, that's better than my house. I live in Canada. Half our country just lost internet for 24 hours. I have nothing to talk about here when it comes to internet. Are you, are you ever worried that... I'm, I mean, I'm not going to stereotype here, but it's a bear. Just, where's the internet gone? Bears just knocked down the aerial. I just presume that bears are everywhere in Canada. I have... Okay. Please tell me you've seen them. I don't want to scare you away from Canada. We should maybe go... I don't know. <laughs> don't scare... You can't scare me away from Canada. Everyone's too nice. There we go. I've got the, uh, the chat loaded up now. You can see the next map. You can see the civilizations. And I guess we could start hypothesizing. Yeah. So um, we're going to get the boys still chatting without their, their having a little look without their headphones. But I'm sure they'll, they'll rather make their own decisions than listen to two numpties uh, in waistcoats. Um, so, again, there's a lot of mobility in, uh, in, in Rex's sims here. Um, but as you said, I think Mole's got a bit more variety in approaches. See, with Rex, I can see Khmer, I can see Bulgarians, I can see um, Lithuanians. Mole, no, it's not so obvious to me. Mm. I mean, it's, it's a lot Maybe on. Japanese, maybe Magyars for I the mean, infantry. Uh, yeah, Japanese as well. Anything where you get that nice eco, as soon as you get through that middle, obviously you can fight around the outside, but a lot of the meta that we've seen has been walling off the outside and keeping that fight kind of... Especially we saw Aztec men at arms, didn't we, to end we Chaos Pit. Well, and heavy skirm play and, and things like that. I think it's all about whether you can get safe woodline and get yourself outside. Mm. If you can make it safely to Castle Age, it turns into a different game. But Japanese that, might be great just for that for the lumber camps. Yep. You save wood, that means you can get out that 50, 100 wood quicker. And also, quicker. if they do go man at arms, obviously Japanese man at arms attack faster. Infantry, doesn't have are. to be man at arms. They can get that drush, go to feudal, and those, that militia. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, they are a dangerous sieve for sure. I mean, Bulgarians get that free man at arms, I, I mean, like. Bulgarians, Japanese, do we think maybe? It depends. If they're going for that man at arms approach, um, I mean, Chinese are strong on pretty much everything. I feel, I feel like drush man at arms, drush last man at arms is definitely the. You, you also do have access to some stone in the middle. I keep walking oh, in. Oh, here's some the... lovely people um, in chat. Jack, thanks for the prime sub. Oh, What's very up, kind of bud? You. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, I mean, what are they saying? Um, but they love my outfit, Paul's so I'm band, just going to keep... I mean, quite right. Quite right indeed. <laughs> What's the elo of these players? Um, I'd put them around probably 1,500, 1,600. I think that's a fair... Maybe 1,700. Mm, maybe tipping up. They're in the mysterious... The mole hurt me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We've all been hurt. The Rex hurt me a lot. Did you, <laughs> did you, so you, I think I told you this. You might not have seen this. When yeah. I've played Rex on my stream, I just played uh, Born to be Alive on a loop for an hour while he handed the set to me. <laughs> right, okay. Lot. 
Final predictions. Who, what are we going to see? Uh, I want Bulgarian Japanese. I think we'll see Khmer Japanese. I think we're going to... I think Khmer are going to be saved for uh, Land Madness. So I, I think we no, might I, see Bulgarians. No, I would go Berbers Lithuanians if I was rushed for Land Madness. Mm. Lithuanians, fast-moving trash. That's true. That, th- that alone is just so key on Land Madness. I mean, that would be a five-head play on this as well. Yeah. Skirm Spear Rush. We're going back to tw- 2006. We're going back pre, pre-HD I do, uh, here. I, I, I do Spear Skirm Rush when I'm Byzantines. That's the only <laughs> thing to do when you're Byzantines. It's the way to If play. you don't do that with Byzantines, are you even playing Byzantines? <laughs> so the boys are just getting loaded up. They're just checking their settings, making sure they're ready to go. Uh, and then we will be getting started. I'm, I'm, I'm so very excited. There's been a long, long build-up for this. We've been, do- we've been doing this for two months already. For two months. Do I signed know, up like three months ago. My one big regret is we're not in Canada. I, just, I wish. I mean, <laughs> hey, just, just maple syrup. Just, just honestly, um, I had two uh, Canadian. Just whilst this is loading up, have really you not had my maple little whiskey yet? No, no. I have oh. a bottle of maple whiskey at my desk. Uh, I'm just looking over. It looks like they are just getting into game. Wait, what are your two, give momentum. me your upsetness before game one. My, my what? Why, what your regrets? Oh, uh, I didn't grow a beard. Oh yeah. I've, I can I can flee face fungus, but I didn't do it for this. So. Face fungus? Yes. That's okay, your I'm, predictions. I went I went Bulgarian Japanese. Um, I'm. Oh, I mean, I think I, I think I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe Chinese. Just to change it up, I'm gonna go Bulgarians. I like the Chinese idea. Mm, or or. Tutans. The, the, the extra sieve here. I see. I'm, I'm going to say Tutans. I'm going to say Tutans. Let's see. What did we get? Lithuanian. Ja- I was uh, right. Japanese. Japanese. We did Let's talk go. about this. So, as you said, Lithuanians, <laughs> they, do, they do get their fast up, obviously, uh, with all of that lovely food bonus. Um, the food bonus, the fast-moving trash. Yeah. You know, especially on a... On, it's, so, for those that don't know Chaos Pit, because mm. I think we should talk about the map a little bit. For sure, for sure. There's no gold in the middle, and you're surrounded, and there's a ring yep. of trees that you have to cut through. There are three, four layers of wood, and you get through them or you don't get through them. So, let's have a look at their maps then. So, the mole here in the red, uh, pushing some deer at the moment. Shoot it. Beautiful. Lovely. <laughs> I mean, these players are at the stage now where you wouldn't expect too many sort of silly mistakes. No, but Hera makes mistakes, so let's be <laughs> honest with ourselves. <laughs> I mean, I would, I would fancy these players' chances against Hera. I'm sure they'd give it a good go. Um, interesting lumber camp going for that one tile gap. I mean, I understand you want to kind of chop through immediately, but I don't know if that return is... I mean, it's going to be minor either way. I, I think... It, I, I actually like that idea a lot because usually what you're doing with the lumber camp is you're thinking long-term, mm. right? So, I mean, it's even the idea of, like, do you put your berries, your mill next to the berries or one tile away from the berries? Sure. In this case, when the trees are so short and you need to get through them... You're like, let's just prioritize let's just get this through first them. throw. We'll deal, with, we'll deal with efficiency. You know, that it's, it's 3% efficiency we're this, talking about it, here. It is one of those tiny things where, you, you know, your, your lumber camp is going to be so much more of your focus in this game early on than in any other map. I was going to give this a quick side out to Lawler, you legend for yesterday's donation. Oh, Thank you, you so much, my bad. Absolute legend. Leeds represent... I'm not going to do the whole thing in a northern Leeds accent, but I'm just going to say hello. <laughs> right, okay, we're back to it. Um, he offered to do it in a, a Canadian accent earlier. I said, it was fine. This looks pretty good. 820. Um, so we have a, a prize pool of 820 for the cup. My God. That is insane. Just wanted to share that. I had a, a little uh, a legend speaking in my ear there. I have a little... Uh, well, there's multiple legends in, 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 in this world, but in this situation, it was Grandy we were talking it about. It was indeed. It was Grandy. Uh, I don't have tiny people sitting in my ear. Uh, but yeah, we can see um, the, the deer spawned pretty nice for Mole. Um, Both them in. of them able to push them in nicely, and this seems like pretty standard Dark Age. How many do we have on wood for each? Three on wood for the Lithuanians, four for Japanese. Mole is really eager to get out, but... It looks like with uh, Rex putting the a villagers one tile away from the lumber camp might actually get out quicker, I think. Oh, you're very proud of yourself for that one. Well, yeah, I am. I'm genius. <laughs> well, I guess, uh, you know, you can maximize. You can only get two on at one time. And it, this is, I mean, at this stage, as we were saying, these are well-rehearsed. These yes. are well-rehearsed games. They, they've been playing these maps for two months now. Yes. And they've um, had time to practice. They know that... the. Money is on the line. Yeah. I mean, you do have access to stone in the middle, so we've seen some trashes, we've mm-hmm. seen some other, other plays. I'm surprised I haven't seen um, Uselessaurus either pushing some more deer in or, or, or getting those across. Well, useless, uh, Uselessaurus, is, it hasn't really gone out. Both of them are now on the outside of the map, but it feels like Mole has actually found Rex, and I think Rex is looking for Mole. Hmm. I'm intrigued by the loom timing here. 
Are they going to have enough food to click up? Ooh, just short. Just short. No, he's going to uh, garrison. Get. Oh, right, there, there, he there he is. Nice, nice, nice. 18 pop from Useless Rex. That's the power of that extra 150 food that Lithuanians get off I with. know. It's, it's beastie. Um, I'm still surprised, even with that bonus, like not taking those deer. I mean, that, that food underneath Moles and TC is going to be there for a good little while. Um, and so we'll, we'll see if it'll, uh, it'll pay off in, in the meantime. But it'd be good to see what um, Eustosaurus scouting the uh, lumber camp there. A little bit of idle time on, uh, on those vills. Look at that. Uh, Moles already one tree away from getting out. Strong work. And I think, I think it's, I'm just saying, I think my lumber camp is doing all right, if you know what I mean, on that other side. We, we didn't put a fiver on it. I'm keeping my pounds. <laughs> Canadian dollars? Or, I said uh, Fiverr. Fiverr, nice, nice, nice. Um, <laughs> I know it's country I'm in. <laughs> so uh, in terms of just on the other side of the wood lines where they've uh, put their... We could put things, a loony and a toonie on this. A You'll have to explain that what, that, what that is to me in a minute. <laughs> um, so I mean, there's some nice resource spawns there for the mole. He's got some gold. He's got some stone. And then Rex here, has more space. Rex has got more space and that's safe. And I mean, your priority is gold. Getting that gold. Um, interesting, we've got a barracks coming in. Uh, barracks already Rex in for us. Barracks coming down for the mole. So we'll see what they both open. Rex doesn't have a barracks. Rex is going naked. Uh, right? Rex is going oh, there's a barracks, barracks in the, the back. Top, at the top. There it is. Um, I am blind. Uh, I mean, I'd be, yes, immediately upon um, that feudal age, we see um, the mole just starting to get some walls down on his uh, lumber camp. Would you go, do you, I don't know, I, I think I prefer the skirmishers here actually from Lithuanians. Mm. That reigns to get over the wall because that there's not a lot of space between where he resources walls the wood and where the villagers are. Skirms can reach that, that with maybe without fletching even. Yeah, for 100%. If you can prevent them getting through, that's, that's enormous. We saw that yesterday in the final game mm -hmm. between Boo and, Boo and Squeaker. Uh, sorry, Boo and Cappy. I'm old school friends, <laughs> so I can't name him with the wrong name. Um, but a lot, a lot of this is going to be important on scouting. So um, good timing. I'm not sure. Oh, it's even. Good luck, have fun, boys. Let's see yeah, how yeah. it comes down. First fight of the game. Who's going to get the first kill? Oh, Congratulations, Rex. Rex. Uh, well done. One he now. has two scouts on the field. And he has a second one out. That is really helpful. I mean, again, I don't know whether uh, Mole managed to scout that. Oh, it, by the production of the spear, I'm imagining he did scout that. Yeah. Stable going forward. The Japanese spear are just so sca um, scary to begin with. I and mean, 18 uh, wood and Mole's out. Yeah, he should be able to get out with... Uh, See, with that's why I wanted the scrims, because the scrims could deny them 5, 10, 15 seconds in a game like this where you're counting down the wood until you get out. It's three, important. Two, one. Congratulations, you're free, Mole. I, I, I'm proud of you, Mole. You've done really, very well with this. I mean, the one area you've got to be careful and, and, and keep your eyes open is when you're sending your vills through um, to, uh, to obviously go and reinforce your, your wood line. Um, Did Rex cut out yet? Oh, he has cut out, so they, they're has, both out. They're both out. Um, it looks like we're going to see a little bit of feudal play, uh, but when you've got such safe gold at the back, you know... They both managed to get out safely and... A little, <laughs> a little bit of spear <laughs> skirt, a little spear village. I hey, love Jap the boxing. Japanese spears are very uh, scary. They, I mean, you know what? That's, they're not bad. They're not bad. I, you know, I, I don't know if that was the best, <laughs> the best play from the mole, but a bit of idle time. Oh, that was a lot of idle time. That was six villagers worth. Mm. That's quite a lot. Eusosaurus uh, has got a little bit more idle time on the TC there. Mm, that's a villager, uh, almost a villager? Yeah, almost a vill down. Uh, and a little bit under and the And from Mole, Mole's housed. Oof. That's so the Vill actually, count is going to even out. Mole's going to wall and keep that his back safe, and I think we're going to get a castle age. Yeah, I mean, a little bit unfortunate for uh, Eusosaurus here, going the long way around. That's going to take him a while to realize as well. Uh, but he did scout the wood line, so maybe five head play. He's thinking... You know what? Mole's going to wall the top side first. As we see Mole go to As the we side. see Mole go to the bottom <laughs> side. So those, Poor scouts, Rex. <laughs> those scouts are going on a lovely little holiday. Uh, they're oh. going to go the whole way around the map, and I imagine by the time they get there, Mole's going to be walled. <laughs> Can we talk about Castle Age? We should talk about Castle Age, because I don't see this staying here. I say that. N neither team... Neither team. I'm so used to co-op tournaments that I keep it calling 1v1's <laughs> teams. Neither, neither player particularly has a farming economy that can get them to Castle Age. Maybe we'll, we'll st spend a lot of time in uh, Feudal Age. True. I mean, we see here Rex looks like he's going to those berries. Maybe he's going to try and get a, a mill down. If so, that could be a really good place for... There's a lot uh, of villagers that are very... Ooh, one or two picks with a good bit of micro here from Mol if he spots it. Uh, there's no spears here to defend. No uh, spears and I mean, these, civs, these villagers have loom, but... That's a long way to walk. And if not, it's still good harassment. Solid harassment. Yeah, and good, good micro there from all. Teams um, of one. 
Yeah, and now he's going to be hunting that vill down for the rest of feudal age. He's just going to be looking around. Ooh, <laughs> Mole's just going to get it in time. Poor I don't think Rex. there's a gap there. It looks like there's yeah, a... Yeah, on the left, it's Mole trees, <laughs> and Rex is like... <sighs> Oh, that worked for nothing. <laughs> oh, shout out to our, our lovely observer, uh, Mr. Tom Snuffles here. Sexy doing Tom an, Snuffles. Doing an excellent job. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tricky role to Tom listen Tom Snuffles to. was uh, uh, courageous enough to put on the corset, so I wouldn't have to. So I mean, I, I'm very proud of him. God bless him. God bless him. Here comes back the mall again. Just oh, they, they, the time. There's, that feels going down. That feels blocked. He's got to. Block it, block it. With the block it, block, 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 uh, block, block. Is he going to commit here? He is. Yeah. He's going to get one. And that's the first fill book of the game for... The mole, who's now up one villager, and Rex also has more Isle Town center time. Yeah, so that's about a two vill now. Uh, but then again, I think uh, mole is going to be, it's going to be one because mole got town watch. That so is it's gonna, correct. Only going to be about one vill. Um, but it has forced Usosaurus into getting a couple more spears out. Um, uh, and now all the scouts go down. <laughs> yes. Um, Mole's got seven spears out on the field, but I have whereabouts he's keeping them. Um, no clue. Might, I think a few of them are in the back, uh, anticipating that house falling down. Mm. I but mean, it, it's a really tricky one. With, I have no uh, idea where they are. Nope. I, I, I guessed I was wrong. and. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a tricky one when you're playing Lith because you mm. really don't want to go full sort of spear pike just because their, their skirms are so strong um, and speedy. That's the annoying thing with um, the Lith skirms. It's obviously you know, they get that late game, more armor and so on, but just chasing them down or getting your army sucked in by like little bits away is... When is you talk lot. about skirms, it's often about their range and making mm. sure you get Fletching and Bach, and not necessarily for the extra attack, but for the extra range. And Lithuanians, with the extra speed, it kind of feels like it helps with that range and hunting down whether it's spearmen or archers as one of the scouts finally goes down for the mole. Yeah, it looks like a, a different approach from both players going here. Mole sort of slowly looking towards um, Castle Age, perhaps. Um, Rex then players... uses the market and yeah, Rex not is... so far. Um, Rex, has he, I'm presuming he's put a, an outpost down because that's probably not ideal for him. Five five stone down. I mean, there, can, there must be something there. He can, he can long range go pick it up, I'd imagine. But uh, uh, the, we've got six archers oh, in already. Oh, no, Rex. Four villagers of idle just rushing around that trying is, to catch a scout. That is so good for Mole. Mole, Mole must be happy about oh, this. Little doink. Uh, but we'll see how they get on here as the spears. Oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> chasing each other. 3v1 over there. Uh, they're, they're, Japanese trying to catch up with Lithuania. Yeah, it's never going to happen. No. Um, but, I mean, that's also some and, really good idle time and here. And Rex, Rex can't really be upset about these three villagers. They've idled that one villager for, what, five minutes to <laughs> um, fix that house. That villager has spent wood to fix that house, you know. Mm -hmm. It's been a, a, a nuisance. I mean, the uptimes are not going to be completely dissimilar. Let's see what Mole does in terms of his a little bit of market abuse. I mean, he just needs to buy a tiny bit of food. Re here. I mean, Rex, will, Rex, there's Rex. Mole's a hot, there, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> seconds apart. Three, second five apart. seconds apart. And and there's a group of archers for, uh, for Rex. And hey, Lithuanian crossbow aren't so poor. No, no, they'll um, fully upgraded. Uh, as far as I know. I believe so. They um, don't get so armed. That's the difference. Somebody in chat. Someone in chat is much smarter than the two of us. <laughs> um, uh, AC is staring at chat, waiting for someone to give him the cue. I mean, somebody's put in on the the Discord the, the elos, but I would say the mole is the mole. The mole is in reflective. Uh, I think we talked about this at the yeah. beginning of the uh, set. I think before the game actually started, mole is definitely one of those players that plays a lot more unranked and it's yes. a part of that AOE community that I think we need to respect and love and yes. cherish because it's a beautiful thing in that, you know, I mean, T90 donates a whole day to nonsense games. I mean, we have to keep an eye here because if Mole is, you know, this is a really lovely sneak around the outside. Well, either I think the arch is coming across or if he opens up the wall on the wood line up here Whoa. to let Bills through. Is that a hole? I th that is, that is a hole. That is a hole. They've never peeled that palisade oh, wall. Oh. Mole sees it. Mole sees it. Mole and he's got the skirms it. there as well. And he's got the skirms. Okay. This could work out really no, well. The, it's going to be plugged at least for a little while. And armor and fletching in. I mean, ideally, he's got to try and get this fight. Rex he's is going Mike, for gonna... stone mining. I think Rex is going for castle drops. Is He's already got seven on stone. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll see. He might just be trying to pick up um, to get... Ooh, I think you might be right with that. That's a, that's a lot of villagers on stone. That is... Are we going to see Lithuanian? We're surely not going to see Lithuanian cabbage. No, it's nights. It's nights. I was getting very hyped for Lithuanian cabbage <laughs> for a moment there. Um, Mole seems very behind now, purely based on military numbers. As uh, Vildra goes down for Mole, the Skirms go down for Mole. Yeah, this is looking. This is looking pretty rough. You, you, you just can't fight this. Uh, 
this army with uh, skirms alone when you know they've got knights on the field. They've already got stable out. You um, can't fight us. You can't fight us with scouts on the field. Moles, Moles in a uh, bit of a rough spot now. Uh, any, any, you know, vilty produces from that central TC. There's not much they can do. And he's out through in the top. Go, 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 and go, go, go. He's gonna be oh man, some... if he goes through there with bloodlines, he will have a field day. Rex, nine village on stone, 390 stone in the bank. That's a castle. Yeah. Let's see if uh, Mole notices here. <laughs> oh my Mole. goodness! Oh my goodness! If Mole, Mole will it, will it, will it? But it, oh. Rex, where are you going? Is Rex, he? where are you going? Rex, where are you going? Rex, oh, oh you're he's, he's, he's patrolling. He's patrolling. Oh! <laughs> Quick wall, town center by the Mole. Oh my goodness! Saves the wood, saves Five the gold. Five head. I, I, I'm just predicting that Mole's heart rate jumped about 15 Ooh. BPM there. <laughs> like literally, like TC, it's getting hit by scouts. It's you know. Oh. <laughs> If that had been for what, what fits in that space? Oh, it's a town center. Nice. I don't think Mole can keep these guys out, though. Oh, not, uh, you know. Not with those archers there. That I being mean, said, the knights don't have any armor. They have bloodlines. That's it. Oh, my goodness. They Crossb are not crossbows with Barkin will eat the knights. There's no question about it. And obviously, they've got the range as well, so they can pick off those. It's re been a really good response from the mole. He was in a bit of a pickle to begin with. but uh, It feels a lot more comfortable now. Yeah. He's a villager ahead. He's yeah, getting... The oh military count is different. You know what your prediction was? Yeah. Do you see what's in front I'm of the so mole's I'm so very face? happy. <laughs> I am a genius. I'm a scholar. Send the boys. I'm glad my parents sent me to Send school. Send the boys. However... What's that? 17 villagers going forward? 10, 10, 10 crossbows or one shot. This is going to be interesting. If... Uh, the response here from the mole, I don't know if he can, I don't think he can die this. There's he just notices. too many. There's just too many vills there. There's too many vills. That castle is going up and... And the scouts are in to be annoying. Oh, he's got a spear there. He's, he's got, got a spear. So then what, so, so what does the mole do in response to this? He's about to lose a barracks, arch range, stable town center. Not stable, blacksmith town center. I mean, he's trying to deny it, but I think it's just too late. Oof, oh, hello. Is, That's us on the screen for a second. That was us very briefly. <laughs> I mean, he's going to get a couple of bills, but that is going up. He's going to sit underneath it. Still, oh, well, first armor is now in. Um, so uh, Ooh, Rex that can was be really annoying. That was a beautiful annoying. in and out by Rex. Gets this around on the mole, and uh, there goes the Japanese crossbow. I feel like this is starting to feel pretty rough. The only thing Mole's got is he has got obviously two TCs running. Oh, scouts are in. They're going to deny the town center. Oh. Mole doesn't realize it. He's not got his eyes on it. I mean, fairly, he's, he's got a lot on his plate right now. He is, yeah, his brain's, his brain's looking forward. But, I mean, Mole's only option here was to try and out-boom. He was, oh, I think it was about six, seven bills ahead for a while. Mm. Because obviously, with a play like this, Rex is going to be fairly all in. He's, he's only got one TC going. Mm. Um, and it's I, quite hard to push a player behind the You say he's all line. in. Rex is going back on stone. <laughs> Rex, is, oh Rex has already 90 stone. Is this, more nut, is this more castles or is this town center and booming? Oh, oh it's, it's a GG. He's going to call it. That's our first game. I, I mean, it's a really tough one here. I mean, there's a perhaps Mole felt like he could have uh, got back with a little bit of booming, but with the pressure coming in, Knights... Well, that was a lot of pressure. That was a lot of pressure. And I just feel when you've got both two gold units pushing down on you, even if it's you know not fully upgraded Knights, mm. if, they, if there's some way of getting them in, I think perhaps that, that third TC getting denied, that was probably the, uh, the final... Rex also had the um, plus one from the Relic just having come in right then. Mm. Uh, that was a good game to start us off with. That was a really Not the necessarily the aggressive feudal we've come to know from Chaos Pit, but well, game well played by both of them. Yeah, so we'll see what they go for for the um, for the next map. Mole clearly wants to reset. Um, he's got his, his thinking face on uh, right now. Um, it's I, 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 li I like I like uh, Mole's option here for what his home map could be. Between I, I think I believe it's supposed to be Land Madness and Beach Run. We will see. We will see. It's going to get I said plonked options. on the screen. That, those aren't secrets. Was, <laughs> why are you shushing me? Oh, no, no, no. It's all good. Oh, no, no. I'm just, I have a, Hello. Uh, welcome. Hey, I, I, my name friend. is Gingerbeard. I'm going to shout out the Medial Co-op Cup tournament I'm going to do. Come out to, over to my channel and find out about it. This is AC. I'm AC. Um, I'm going <laughs> to enter. I'm going to enter that tourney. Uh, come along. Um, if you're, you know, I'll, I'll sing you a song. Thank oh, you. I, I did JBR's um, streaming song. If you'd like a little song for, uh... I did Sully's outro. <laughs> oh nice. Oh, of course, you've got you're you're, you're the, the maestro, the maestro himself. I play guitar. I cannot sing. I took singing lessons, and she told me to stop paying her. Oh my goodness, that's, that's that was embarrassing. Oh, I, I didn't know that could have been either because you're so good. No, don't pay no, me. No, and, but it was oh. no, it was the other direction. Game one was a banger. Game one was an absolute banger. I mean, chaos pit for game one. 
what, what more could you want? What more could you want? Um, I have to say, what more good I want is Beach Fight for Game 2. <laughs> this is exactly <laughs> what I want. Here we Beach go. Beach Fight for Game 2. Beach which fight. Is, which fight. Which fight which excite you most for Rex? Beach Fight. Well, do you know what? I, I would quite like, again, for just to make it entertaining, a uh, bit, of, bit of crepost rushing. Mm -hmm. Be lovely, bit of Bulgari. Let's go for some of that. Um, maybe... Ooh, I don't know. Do I feel honest? like all Mesosivs do well on Beach Fight just because Eagles are so quick and... Yeah, Eagles are good. And it's and it's that kind of combination you need. Of You need a bit of mobility. It's not as important. Maybe uh, Teutons? Oh, for, Ra for Mole, I feel like there's a, a, the option probably is Tatters. Right, yeah. with the hills, that just feels, you know, yeah, it feels comfortable. Really natural. You know, Fra Frank's is strong on every map. If you know Tatars, Magnus is strong. Berbers. If you know the Tatars, are or coming. If you know the Tatars are coming. Berbers is a great counter sieve here. Whether it's mm. Frank's, Magnus, or Tatars, Berbers are a top pick here. Yeah, I, I think if 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 not for um, you know uh, Mole's Mole's draft here, um, yeah, yeah, no, Rex's, the, Rex's draft is starting to look pretty good now. Getting that, <laughs> it's very comfortable. It's, get, I mean, getting Berbers and Mongols is a is is always a nice thing to have on your uh, on your side. And even if you end up with Berbers Teutons, Camel Archers do well. Camel yeah. Archers do well when you get the mass. Uh, Teutons really struggle with that. Uh, uh, there's no stone team. on beach fight. Very true. Very true. So no so we'll Camel Archers back. coming unless you buy a castle. Oh, I wouldn't put it past them. I would not put it past them. This makes it that much more difficult. There's so much gold on this map, but you have to go to the corners. Yeah, Your yeah, opponents yeah, yeah. can't see the corners just I mean, as if it's a uh, point of view of theirs. Depending on, depending on your play, obviously, as you said, there's lots in the corners. A hunt, if you wanted to go. Um, I was speaking to Boo Obviously, that's earlier. Mongols for that. Send the Mongols into, send a few into the corner, and you can just, you know, shoot out um, uh, scouts from your metaphorical stable gun. I don't know. Here we go. So um, they are up on the screen. I like the, these picks. Chinese for the mole and Khmer for useless Rex. I'm yeah. I mean, Houston's had so many sieves for um, some of the other maps. Um, Khmer. I mean, they're they're just another one of those strong sieves. Though I think Chinese. If you had to pick someone for them, I think Chinese. Chinese are, is a solid pick. I I would yeah. love to see Scorpion versus Scorpion, of course. Mm. Um, but. In general, I think Khmer is a great pick here for many reasons. The first is that the, the not needing the buildings and getting that uptime. Yeah. I feel like uptime is just so important on this map. Yeah. The ability to hide in houses, whether it's by getting the food in the north or the gold oh in goodness. the east. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can make genius. a huge difference. You know, huge Chinese difference. is always strong with their versatility, their cheap re um, researches. The whole 10 yards of it, the extra vills, mm. right? There's mold, despite having 17 idle TC seconds, which is actually very good <laughs> for Chinese. That's very good. That is stunning. That's, I mean, at this is point... Is a though, vill yeah, up? Yeah. yeah. He's doing very well. He's doing very, very well. We'll see what they both decide to open. I mean, this map does look more sort of standard. If we look to the center on the wood lines, um, I mean, looking for the mole to begin with, fairly safe, nice, mole feels easy very, mole, feel, mole feels like he has a better map. Right, yeah. there's a huge gap there with the wood for Rex, but Mole, you know, there's three, two easy wall offs, and then Rex has to go around the side. Yeah, I think I agree. I think Mole's got a a, a better map to to start with. Um, both sieves, <laughs> both scouts are kind of chasing each other, trying to pick off each other's sheep. I'm enjoying this kind of little cheeky little doink there from Rex. Um, he's got a uh, a couple of hits in so far. Um, I mean, are you surprised by no Tatars? Or do you think do you think it was a bit of a... Mind game. Yeah, mind, mind game. game. No, I'm not surprised. I think Tatars are a better thought, in general with hill maps, than mm. execution. Yeah. Right? I think, I think Tatars might even do best on maps with little hills. Right? Because they don't get a bigger bonus on larger hills. They just get the same bonus, right? Oh, so what you mean? It's in like tiny hills, but everywhere. Yeah, tiny hills, but everywhere. Sure. Or, not, or just hills that you, the opponent isn't necessarily thinking about. Okay, okay, right? sure. Everyone's sure, sure. knowing about the hill, so they know that it's going to come. And I think Chinese would be a great pick against it. But I mean, Rex is picking up all of the sheep at the moment. Uh, he's doing pretty well oh, with that's it. Well, why oh. someone banned Gajaras. <laughs> uh, yes, oh my goodness. <laughs> Just filth on this. Not what you want to see. Mole's got to be careful here. He might run under that TC if he's not careful. No, he's, no he knows what he's doing. Uh, he's got a, a the good The farms idea. are so such a good indicator of where oh, everything is goodness. on this map. Rex bringing in nine, nine sheep. Mutton soup for dinner. 
Um, and well, you're cooking, yeah? yeah I did the breakfast this morning. All the time, all the time. Mole actually missed some of those sheep on the outside as well, so Rex could find even more. Uh, there's another three uh, to be found. So where does Mole go from here? Wait, question. Mm -hmm. How does Mole have six more villagers? Uh, because uh, useless is already up to feudal. Oh, 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 Khmer things. Yes. I have completely yeah, yeah. bypassed looking at so Khmer things. See, we've got to Holy see what, heck. 178, we'll see what building. We're scouts. We're seeing scouts. Uh, there's, there's five villagers there's, in the queue. He can unqueue a couple of them. There's two villagers coming to the top of the hill, and that is stable. I, uh, we, we, we are scholars. We are men of this game. <laughs> I mean, that hill is going to be really important. Uh, this game. What does Mole do now, right? Realizes it's seven, eight minute scouts. Uh, yeah, the, the, the sad thing is, the first thing he's going to do is lose his scout. Uh, oh. The best thing he can do here is just take the fight, fight, swallow the bit of pill, just get a little bit of damage. Jag a little pill? Yeah. Alanis Morissette. Oh, I don't know. Another Canadian. Oh, that's probably why I don't know them. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I know of them. I don't know, the, I don't know their music that well. I'm sorry. So first blood goes to use the Sauras here in uh, with Khmer. And Maul is desperate to get those walls up. I don't I don't mind them. I mean that gold is not is not um, horrific, but I mean if he gets this down just in time. Would, Re does Rex not know about that um, other mill wall? This is going to be close. Oh, ooh. How many walls are there? Two? Oh, there's three. Yeah, that's not. Oh yeah, there we oh, go. Oh, that's annoying. Oh no. And there's Maul. a hill there. And there, no loom. Right. Oh, no, there is loom uh, on it. Okay, it's, that villager looked like it was going down quick. Nice little quick balls there to protect. He's got to watch, 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 careful. Yeah, yes. Nice. Yeah, his brain is switched on. He's ready to go. He's probably all right taking, um, uh, taking those berries at the front. It's so close back. Um, he's got to be careful. Ooh. Great tower. I don't know if we'll see more towers um. from... That's uh, definitely Rex, open on the top, unless that's kind of that wood I think line, the lumber camp the now lumber has camp blocked has it. it. <laughs> I can't. T the hill always makes it difficult without the grid mod. Mm. But there's three scouts and there's more scouts because that bottom wall was never completed. Yeah, useless is in a really good spot here. Oh, and now he has to box down the scouts and, and there's the also, first hill pick. Yeah, and he can he can sort of hide here, uh, and uh, with that tower now up. And that tower's going to deny the gold as well. Mm, um, maybe I mean, flitting. I don't think it quite reaches it. No, it'd be annoying though. Yeah. Uh, those scouts are getting around. They're definitely, and there's, oh, and there's, there's a weak there's, oh, this beautiful is, snipe. Rex is playing textbook. He is. He's just very clinical at the moment. Um, and that little house. And I mean, I, I'm a little bit. I mean, the one thing maybe Rex could get himself back on stone. Uh, no, he's not on stone. He can. He could drop a drop a market. Get another tower down. Um, just like one more tower, and the game you, would might be over. What do you do? Well, you know what I do is I get blacksmith upgrades. I really think that would be the next thing here. You get forging, and all these villagers go down so quickly. Mm. Oh, five head play. Uh, useless can jump into that. He's built a house there, so he can jump in and out, isn't he? <laughs> and, <laughs> and then he's going to wall. He's going to wall something Genius. even more. I just the amount of idle time now. Uh, Moles now. Uh, yeah, he's he's a fill behind. We can look at the worker efficiency. Less than sixty percent for Mole. Rex is above eighty percent. Another vill goes down. Oh, this is a three vills down now for the mole. The vill count is even. Oh. This is pretty rough. This is pretty rough. I mean, uh, it, that tower denying the gold is annoying, but the gold on the other side, mole has walled it so we can take it. And mm. whilst there's no uh, ranged units coming out uh, from uh, Eusosaurus. Mole doesn't have any he can military take yet. At the top. He does not. He is only getting a barracks up now. So we'll see what his, his Can we talk about responses? I mean, I, I'm not 100% sure. Do we, we talk about Fast Castle? I, I think he's got to I, I say Fast Castle loosely right now as we're at 13 minutes and no one's on gold. No, I, I think I would agree. I mean, he's moving to it now. Uh, he's getting a couple of spears out. I, I mean, at this stage, I don't think the spears are going to do a huge amount. He does need to keep an eye because, like, if Useless gets another two or three scouts out, deletes that house, he's just going to run in. He, uh, he's waiting for that tree to go down. Both of them. Is that not? Is that oh, there oh, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is going to be pretty. Yep, 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 yep. That's actually not bad. I'm, I'm. As long as he walls. Oh, and Mole calls it. It was just. It was clinical. It was clinical from Rex. Oh, like, and oh no, and Mole even feels it. <laughs> you can see it in the expression. It, that was a hard game. That was a really hard game. It was just that uptime from Khmer is devastating. Damn hard. It's damn devastating. Hard to 
Um, yeah, it was such a clean build as well. 178 wood when he you hit You saw, I didn't even catch it. You were, uh, did you catch it? Uh, I mean, I, I, I was aware. I, w I was not. I was it was simply uh, not I enjoyed, aware. I enjoyed, I enjoyed the, the noticing of it being, oh my God, he's six fills behind. <laughs> and there was no cognitive jumping. Oh my God, six fills. What did I miss? So <laughs> it is do or die time now for Mole. He's got to bring something in. Um, he's obviously, both players have prepped enormously for this. Um, I mean, surprisingly, someone was saying in chat that Rex is up to 16, 17, 17, 80. This Rex is slowly, is this is like top five, six, uh, four percent in the world. Uh, easily. 1600 is top five percent in the world, isn't it? So uh, 1780 yes. would be... Well, 15, I, I was very proud my 1500 and that was top seven seven and a half percent <laughs> good I, at some point i hit top 15 percent and my dad was like wow you must be really good i was like competent <laughs> the problem is you surround yourself with people who are just slightly better than you all oh, the time, all the time. Always works. Yeah, 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 yeah so mole just needs to reset try and make a make a series out of this i mean again he's one of those players who we talk about can just he can always bring something in and you can't underestimate him but it, i think it's more of a mental battle here now just, you've got to, you know, you've been beaten by early Khmer. Mm. You've been beaten on um, just... Chaos Pit. Chaos Pit, where you had a really strong, like, that TC wall. But it's Which, just felt like Mole's just kind of been clinging on the whole time. I think Rex has had better game plans. Yeah. Right, between the Lithuanian... I think Lithuanian was just a better game plan. I think Khmer won, was absolutely a better game plan. It was, it was very clean. He's just been very clinical. Um, uh, we could talk about... I mean, we know the home map. There's nothing hiding it. It's Land Madness. We yeah. can look at the sieves and we can figure out the game plan. I mean, for Rex, the game plan is open. Yeah. Right? Uh, faster moving knights, uh, fast, larger line side for Mongols, Bulgarian men in arm rush. I mean, there's there's so many different. <sighs> every sieve he has is, is a good pick here. I mean, in the same way, Mole, what can he. It's your last ditch. You, you, you've got to try something. Magyars. And if you feel. You have to go Magyars. I mean, with that bonus attack on your scouts. But. It, I mean, if he really feels like he needs to change something up, do you go, we're going to go Teutons, we're going to go Man at Arms Towers? Do, we, do you try and swift it? I mean, I just don't think you can go Tatars. I just, I just no, Tatars is the wrong pick here. I mean, it has to be the wrong pick here. And between but Franks I, but, and but, Magyars, I think... I, I just, I don't know, because I feel like... I don't if you think Franks is play, the right pick here. No. Franks with their extra HP on the scouts isn't enough of a bonus mm. for success here on Land Madness. I agree with Teutons. I think that is the anti-meta pick relative to Bagyars. Yeah. Oh, I, I think he's. I think he's. This is this is a rough. I think Rex has just drafted very well. I think you know. It sounds like we're in game, so we're going to see what it is. Oh, this is not what we were thinking. <laughs> Frank's not a bad pick. It's not a bad pick. No, this is all relative to the draft. So that... obviously, obviously, what we were talking about before. Um, Mon um, Mongols brain um, hmm. for the mole. Other options? Yeah, uh, it was. Uh, oh God, tatters and uh, uh, Magyars. Magyars. So Magyars, you get that bonus with the attack. But Frank's longer term, as in, if you get into like late feudal with a bigger mass. Oh sure. I mean, it just depends because also it's not as good in feudal without bloodlines. And Magyars are all about that power spike with the attack upgrades. Yeah. But with Frank's. You know, you get faster. Okay, let's talk about this then. Sure. Mm -hmm. Franks get eco-wise. They get the farm upgrades for free. They yep. get the berries. Yep. They collect food from the berries quickly. And there are a lot of berry patches on here. We cannot discard that. No, no. You know, just power-wise, I feel like Bulgarians army-wise, it's a bit stronger with their, uh, with their militia line upgrades for free. Yeah. Men at arms will hurt here. And and Bulgarians, they can still go scouts if they decide to. They can go scout the um, uh, stirrups if they get a castle. I mean, if it comes down to it, and like we were talking before about seeing like Krepos and things like that on a map so open, um, we've seen castles come forward in this mm. tourney before. We've seen you know uh, all this sort of late game pressure. Yeah, no, it's been staggering the uh, uh, games we've had so far. Land Madness. Uh, let's just make sure Yusuf doesn't kill his elephant. No, no, no. no we won't, see it, this, we won't see it at this level. Um, I mean, uh, talking to Cappy, who was one of our semi finalists for the, um, uh, for the cup, he was talking about the fact that you really need to focus on getting at least sort of seven, eight minimum deer in. Mm. You've really got to keep your, um, your food high underneath your TC. Mo um, seems to be doing that and is eager 
to get as much food for as many scouts for as big an army. Yeah. It's stays in feudal. I think I think as much as Rex has a power spike, if Mole survives that power spike of the militia line upgrade, uh, and Mole can get seven, eight, nine scouts. Yeah. Because, I mean, Bulgarians, they've, they've only got the melee option. They're not going to be throwing archers at you, <laughs> much though I would love to see it. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not their, uh, you know... Hey, hey, you know, an archer behind a wood line is an archer behind a wood line. It is, it is, it is a, very, a very timid tower, we'll call, it, <laughs> we'll call it that. It's a very timid moving tower. Yeah, I mean... Theoretically, Rex, Rex's base. Okay. Obviously oh, God, gold, that is attractive. Gold, the, gold is forward, but you can. You there's, can a, there's a gold in the back. Sure, no, no, but I'm, I'm saying from the edge of the map, oh, you can yeah. even wall to your TC. Oh, yeah. You can have a fully this safe could be a really. This could be. Rex has a banger of a map here. Mm. That being said, I think Mold is awesome. Mold could do a whole corner wall thing also. Yeah. Right? Walls walk. from the side, includes the gold, yeah, gets, could, gets, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. gets to the town center, and then. That's I mean, that's, that's obviously later on in the game, and, and, and the, that's, why, that's why we see normally such, such huge army numbers. Look at this, Mole's already, what's that, three or four deer already in? And now the zebras are going to come in? Um, yes, I say zebra correctly, because I'm in the UK. Nice, nice, and he's already up. This is a clean build from Mole. But um, Rex isn't actually behind, that's a Vil behind, right? So it's just that Mole's going to try and do this with as much food as possible. And yeah, I think it was just pushing a little bit more deer in, perhaps. Um, but it's, uh, you know, uh, Mole's getting that little bonus there maybe from the berries as well, and he's still pushing deer in. He's got to be careful. It's, it's a weird combination. Um, it'd be good to see, I'm going to ask our, our lovely uh, Specker, has uh, Mole, it doesn't look like Mole scouted, he hasn't yet. No, he so, hasn't seen anything. Because we saw this before, again, with the, the cup final last night with, with Boo, uh, getting up early, had the, had the scouts, and then spent the first minute of feudal age running around trying to find the base. Land Madness, unlike Arabia, isn't as clear about where our spawns are. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's really important at all ELOs to scout, but yeah. especially on a map that isn't predictive, that isn't obvious, right? Rex also hasn't found Mole, though. True, true. Oh, feel, my goodness. He's where is he going <laughs> in the middle? You know he's not there. No, he's going to be miles away. This could actually work out quite well. It depends which way... Uh, it looks like Mole's going to be lucky with his, his first run if he gets that, that big center wood and runs to the right. There's the militia being produced by Rex. Yeah. Which, again, that's, that's the other issue. If you're going to be going man at arms, you need to know where to send them. Mm. Um, they're not with scouts. Is you know, It's annoying not to know where to go, but it's, they're not, the fast. End, yeah, it's not the end of the world. Ooh, Rex is going to have a hole in that wood line, and if Rex doesn't realize it, there's going to be big troubles. Mm -hmm. There's a scout. There's the scout creation. That's called the stable, but <laughs> being put up by mole. <laughs> Rex uh, just getting houses. Oh, he's just being annoying. That's really good. Annoying. Blacksmith. And early blacksmith as well. What do you get from blacksmith upgrades? Do you get attack upgrades? Do you get defense upgrades? Uh, for attack. Your... If you're doing melee, uh, you get your attack and um, upgrades because it's cheaper mm. and it does exactly the same. Mm. Uh, so it works out pretty well. And you get to kill villagers quite faster. Yes, 100 percent. <laughs> I heard that some people have strong opinions about Marlians. Oh. No, we shall not entertain that. We shall not. Tom's head appeared like, you know, is it meerkats? Yes, meerkats. It's the exactly like a meerkat. He, literally, his head uh, appeared. But he did it multiple there. times, so we kind of look like multiple meerkats staring at us. <laughs> so Eustosaurus here bringing his mana arms in. They could get some good damage in. I mean, it is tricky when you are... Spearman from Mole sounds funny, right? That's assuming that there is a scout, but... Why would you think that there would be a scout already I mean, when you know men arms are there and the men arms will be Right, Mole, wreck. we need to see some quick walls here. Quick walls on the boat. Nice. Oh, beam, 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 beam. That's really nice for him. So that's bit, even by um, giving him that sort of visibility mm -hmm. and seeing the men at arms is really helpful. Um, so he needs to, this is where the micromanagement really comes in. He needs to keep those scouts alive. Um, he needs to try and get some damage in. Uh, Woodline is open. But how do you deal with these men at arms when you're going Franks? Do you just, you've just got a mass. It, like, it, it's just, it's beyond irritating. It's because beyond there's, irritating. There's already a, a spear forward with them, so clearing them up with scouts is going to be very costly. Uh, and before Mole could find that hole, Rex puts a house on that wood line, and <sighs> Mole feels a little bit trapped. Mm. Rex doesn't feel trapped. Rex feels it, in control. Mole, hasn't actually yeah. uh, uh, had to stop taking any resource, hasn't had to, hasn't 
lost a unit, the, yeah. is, is able to leave their base, you know. The, the thing that Mole has to do here is he's got to get his army forward. Mm. Like, somehow, you, I, I mean, you've got to deal with these, these men at arms. I know, somehow. I know both. But, yeah, it, I mean, he, it's perfect. That's really good. Cleaning up the, um, clear up the scout. Brilliant. A uh, little, little bit of a misclick there. Eustosaurus had got um, his uh, man at arms selected with his scouts. This is maybe a fight you can... Mm, uh, maybe with light upgrades here first, but you've just got to get that um, spear down. Micro away these uh, low uh, low HP. But again, thanks, get that bonus to HP. Pretty good micro there from all. I think you'll be happy with that. Like getting rid of your, um, you know, all of that forward pressure. And now, you know, what army does um, Eustosaurus have? Two what? spears coming out. He has got nothing at home. He's not had a follow-up. No spears, but walls. And the truth is, with mm. scouts, unless there's a forging with them, you know, it's going to be hard to overly think about that. I say that. Rex goes to a new wood line, and that villa is gone because they had to walk all the way around that build wall that build, a, building that a, of walls. That it's, is a bizarre place to go for, <laughs> for another lumber camp. But uh, we'll see here. That could be a, a picked-off fill here. I think, yep. A uh, little bit of blocking. A little bit of blocking. Mm, maybe mm. it was a bit too close to the TC. I had all the scouts to do the blocking. But, yeah, the, there's a spearman. Now there's a town center. Yep. And Mole's going to have to run around. Yeah, I mean, Mole's in a, in a good position here. We've got sort of... I mean, you fancy Frank's eco slightly more than Bulgarians. Um, he's just got to see if he can spot these um, fills going around the top. I mean, I'm not sure where his scouts are going at the moment. He needs to get them sort of running around the oh, top. Oh, I'd love if they find out what line. That would be hilarious. Because um, that one spearman cannot protect. No. No. Or um, the goal. If anything, like, I'd like to see some more, more scouts. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think this is going to be the first field pick of the game. No. no. What? Oh, I mean, my. two spears. Two spears is very sketchy wanna. when you are. Um, and and it, little taps. That vill now, that's yeah. going to be, yeah. again, snipeable for the next... I'm not quite sure what those two scouts are doing under the TC. Dying. Are we going to see some cheeky split things here? No, 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 no. There, uh, there was one. There was one. There was one. That's going to be nice. That was my Jay Leno. That's the nice. There you go. That's oh, good quick. Calls Beautiful from Rex. from Rex. Good spots as well. You know, that's the thing with melee units is if you can quick wall or if you can wall in your resource, what what does it doesn't necessarily matter. Yeah. There's a blacksmith from Mole. Mole's not on gold yet. Rex is definitely thinking he's forward. Rex is, I mean, Rex is greeting this. Rex has got seven spears. Is Rex just thinking, like, Castle Age Pike? Against Franks, yeah. Because what, do, but, the, what, but what like, do the Franks have against it until a castle goes up? True. I know true, true. Frank castles are cheap at 488 stone, and then you get throwing axemen, but... Yeah, I mean, Mole is, is producing more scouts here, but he's just running into pikes. That's, I mean... And the pikes have the defense upgrade. Yeah, that's really the strong. Mole's really strong. getting the attack upgrade now, but uh, that is... We need, we need a mathematical nerd on this, because... Um, as but I was plus, saying, it, it just negates it. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but my, my think about, thought about that was in terms of number of hits. Because obviously the spears, mm. the main amount of damage they do is through the bonus, bonus damage. damage yeah. So you, it's, I'm guessing it's more important to get defense because they survive longer? Yes, 100%. And get another That's hit. That's why. In. So now the forging takes away that yeah. extra, that lack, less hits that they need. So, I mean... But still, more, I wouldn't want to... Oh, there's going to be some doinks in here. B you know, big doinks. Every doink is 15 damage. Like, uh, 16 damage. Oof. Good micro there for Malta to send that one around the top. Um, but send me outside, send me outside. <laughs> <laughs> Mole's adding his own spears. Um, oh, is that um, villager going to go down for Rex? No, oh, he survives it. Oh, no. But Rex is up. Rex is up. He's... Where's Mole? Mole. Mole is not on is, gold. No, he's still producing scouts. I think this is starting to look pretty hairy. I mean, it's, it's just about whether... What is the play from Eustosaurus? He's got 443 would if i mean he gets tc's up maybe yeah i think this is a boom situation yeah. for rex it has to be tc on the gold tc <laughs> tc on a wood line well, uh, great resourcing walling from rex that gold is safe how many villagers are on gold there it looks like eight um there's only five on there but sure, there's a bunch sure, of walling so uh, i have up. to take a guess besides counting two scouts go down that's the thing all these pikemen have had uh little hits on them the hole's not on that side, Bowl. The hole's on the other side. Rex, are you going to see it? Rex, are you going to see the hole? I don't think there's a hole. Is there a hole? 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 That's a tree. That's a hole. God damn. You were so hyped. I was so hyped for you as well. Oh my god. Edge of edge of the barrel.
<laughs> Here we go. So it looks like two stable. I'm guessing we'll see uh, one TC, two stable. Oh, and there's all the scouts oh, down. Oh, this feels pretty. Uh, to be honest, I, I'm, I'm. It breaks Shattered? my heart. Breaks my heart to Gutted? say it. No, I'm all right on that. I'm, I'm, I'm more <laughs> like. I feel like we might even see a GG on on Castle Age. Yeah, Castle Age. And because GG. it's just not. I mean, with all of the time going up to Castle Age, um, Moles, Moles, uh, two vills ahead. That's it. Um, and there we go, armor coming in, bloodlines coming in. We're gonna see knights, and we're gonna see. Probably I think, I think a TC this is uh, Moles on the brink of uh, elimination. I think we're going to see the game be played out. Yeah, I mean you've got to, you've got, you to. got to. Yeah, yeah, it's best of five. This is um, third game. Uh, oh, and Molson over all these spearmen as counters, and they all die to the town center. Oh, that's hard. Oh. That is really hard. I mean, there's just so much going on. Uh, that's another just good spot. Rex has just played this clinically. He's been his eyes have been in the right spot. Methodical. For every it makes me feel good that I, that this is happening. Frankly. Yeah. I mean, Mol, <laughs> Mol, Mol has played phenomenally. I mean, Mol took out Vorion. Mol's Mol's had an absolute stunner of a tourney, but I'm struggling to see how he's going to get back here. Um, Knights come now. I'm surprised we haven't seen a TC down yet for um, Rex has uh, sold a Rex. lot of wood and bought a lot of food. Uh, and has two only two more knights in the queue and is getting forging, so it's gonna have those uh, feudal aids upgrades on the knights, and those knights are not dealing with the pressures at home, just going forward. No, I mean, we'll see what um, uh, Mole's base at the front, I think we'll see, it's pretty open though. Very and open, no the issue wall is, done. Like, you don't watch those um, scouts for like 20 seconds. You miss those scouts for 20 seconds. Spears, pikes are going to get on top of them. Spears, three knights Even to take three it knights. out. Yeah, yeah, three knights. Good reaction from all there to uh, take the villagers away from the farms. And also knights, knight vills, so much quicker. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think that's the one thing we'd I'd really like to see from uh, from useless is, is getting a from useless. I said I'd call him Rex, not useless. Uh, I'll call him useless. Rex. God, Go, useless. What, what are we doing here? Useless. What are you going to do here? What are you going to do? <laughs> um, is get a TC down. I mean, uh, TC or yeah. get some siege out. Um, I think I think TC. I think he's in a he's in a good enough spot here. Um, I don't think that's not the worst fight. You know, it's not going well. Uh, but no, no, no. I no, mean, no, no, no. no. I mean, we'll see. He's not out. Of, Mole is not out of this yet, which is surprising. I thought if, uh, this is the thing. If if Rex had got a TC down straight away, he was up what two, three minutes faster. Yeah, that That's, would be in a lot more bills. Yeah. Only a TC going up now, but yeah. there, Mole's up. Mole doesn't. It what doesn't does have, Mole have though? Yeah, Mole doesn't have the. Mole for has. It. I'm guessing two stables. Yeah, there's the two stable knights coming out. There's the last defense upgrade coming in, oh, but. So again, this is this is a. You're playing into Rex's game plan. Yeah, and and yeah, you really want to get the the attack here first, if possible. Um, to deal with the pikemen, or spearmen. Yes. And also, As stone walls come up. Cheaper. But again, we'll, we can go to uh, some lovely people in chat who I'm sure will tell me if I am wrong. Here we go. Just a chance to show off. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, <laughs> my brain went to Canada. Do you know Wallace and Gromit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you know laying the tracks as you're running? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was just Mole just throwing down the walls as he's like, and there's another knight. We'll throw another one down. Yeah, yeah I, had a, I, I had a public library. That's where I got the VHS oh, nice, from. Nice, I had nice. a VHS growing up. I'm not that young. <laughs> I mean, the army currently, a Mole 3 to 11 here, and the knights are just going to come flooding in. So many knights. Um, and just 19 on food, 22. Mole's got a healthy, um, healthy um, food eco, but it's just so open and unprotected. Um, I mean, there's four or five vills out there which are going to easily get sniped here. Uh, and I'm really enjoying, round the top, uh, sending those um, uh, knights around. I don't and think I Mole's think, noticed yet. No, and they can probably get Oh, now he it. has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but but like, look at this. Only three vills behind. I'm pretty solidly impressed. I, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm surprised. Is that wood line? No, it's no, not. No, no, no. But it's I mean, about to be with those two villagers in the south. But before that, I think the knights are going to bust through the palisade walls. Yeah, they are speedy. I mean, if he's if he's just selected to attack that palisade, they will get picked off by those knights and that spear. And that is bad That's, for Rex, and that could yeah. be a huge opening for Mole. But Rex is got has got two TCs up, and they are running pretty consistently. He's still got more army. I mean, Rex is in a good spot here. Um, I think I think he could have again if that TC was up earlier. I think he he could have had this in the bag. Um, but well, six villagers up, you know, that's not an unnoticeable no. economic difference. No, that being sure. said, Mole has eco upgrades. So yeah. it's not six villagers ahead, it's three and a half villagers since Mole has wheelbarrow. Yeah. Mole has uh, obviously heavy plows, Franks, and Mole has Bosaw 
Rex is behind economically in terms of uh, upgrades, and I don't think we should be counting Mole out uh, that far behind. I think Mole's hanging in here, especially now has five, six more military. Yeah, he's doing really, really well here. I it's wouldn't leave two knights to six okay, knights, but... Two knights to five. <laughs> Is it Lancaster's Law? I believe it's a, this, was, this was a bit of coaching from Hal. It's a really good spot there for Mole. That could have been really bad. And a couple um, of spearmen here to help out. Yeah, that'll, that'll, get, that'll get cleaned up, but he could have had five knights in on the wood line there. That would not have been pretty. Um, yeah, Lancaster's Law. It's a, I think Hallis was telling me one of the GB um, mm -hmm. um, top players, well, the top player, um, about, you know, if you have more mass, how it kind of exponentially is better off. Right, and it's, right. it's obvious, but, like, how the relationship between them. Both players seemingly on top of it. I have to say, I'm impressed with Mole's hold. I Mole is playing for survival, and not just playing for survival out of um, over-desperation, but with dignity. Mm. Yeah, 100%. He's showing us why he's here, why yes. he's in the final. Um, and those people he's he's sort of beaten and now kind of coming back and going, yeah, fair play. This is this yeah, is yeah, someone yeah. to be reckoned no, with. This guy made me cry, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that wood line at the back is pretty exposed. Uh, that is a very exposed. If Mole gets to those two knights that are about to run onto that secondary town center in that wood line, that is going to be nasty. Oh, I he I hear I, there's monks out. There's a monk out for Rex, and Rex is going to try and get a conversion. And yeah, he gets we'll it. We'll get it. He does get oh, it. that's some RNG sadness for Mole right there. It is. I mean, I'm just, again, that second TC coming down at Fort Mole, but it is quite late. It's 10 vil deficit at this point. There's a big army difference. Um, As, uh, seven and a half vils, of course, wheelbarrow. Yes, of course. As, thank you. That's why, that's why you have two casters. That's why. One is to sort of cry on the shoulder of them. Two, to remind you of the things that we... We already know. Um, the pressure coming in from all hit, really strong, really strong. Oh, the great defense from Rex. Really strong. You've got to get the monks out. I mean, it's a crucial part. Gets another conversion. Two that conversions is... for Rex. 69 villas for Rex. You know, everything's going well Sorry. for him. Nice. I said it. I know what I said. Nice. I said for reasons. Nice. Stand by my words. Nice. <laughs> How many bills? Oh no, it's 70. 71. Yeah, yeah, 71. Carrying on. Um, um, most, most getting another town center isn't going to be consistently behind an economy, right? A, a similar number of on farms, similar this number is, on gold. This is where the Frank's eco really comes to pay off. If he if he starts catching up in vill count, he's got, as you said, he's got uh, Bosor, he's got um, Heavy Plow. I mean, he's got both upgrades on his cav, and there's still one attack down uh, for Rex as well. And Mole's going for that pikeman uh, to send forward, and I think that's a solid plan here, because Rex hasn't been making anything else but knights. No, which is and surprising. monks. We, yeah, I mean, the, the monk edition is really clean, really nice. Nice Good reaction spotted. from Rex in the north, I mean, or in the east. The, the, the ability of these players to have eyes everywhere is, is, mm -hmm. is really commendable. Um, I mean, that wood line is not the most secure. It's a bit annoying. Um, oh, and that, uh, oh, what? <laughs> Villa just come to Mole and <laughs> oh, no. I was so confused. Oh, no, oh, no, don't. Oh, I think, I think Mole was aware there might have been a masterpiece coming in there. <laughs> he was like, do I run inside? And then <laughs> a Vill would have appeared behind to wall him in. So, But should get a couple of Vill picks here. Yeah, yeah. This is really crucial for, uh, for Mole. He's now got the solid eco. Again, they've got similar numbers on food. Uh, they're quite a lot idle at the moment, but Mole similar. needs to be giving away less um, conversions. Yes. There's four knights on the field. That is a scary number of knights. And in the middle, the uh, Rex has to be chasing back. Is going forward. Mm. There's so much happening right now. Uh, Mole has knights all over Rex's base. There's the uh, and then by Mole's a uh, hole. Oh, oh God. Oh, the efficiency. The efficiency for Rex has plummeted. My God. But all those conversions. Oh, I think Rex is going to clean this up and get that deficiency back. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of pikemen, but the, the issue with pikemen, you want 20 pikemen. pikemen. You, if you can get those pikemen Ooh. forward with, uh, when he was talking about siege, that would have been great now, mm. because you want the pikemen forward to force the fights. Third town center, I think that pikemen town center is going to go up. Uh, it will go up, but I think there's going to be some lost vills here for Mole. This is going to be untidy. I'm hoping he doesn't, there we go, jump in, jump in, jump, jump in. Jump, 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 22, 3, 4. Ville difference now for Rex. I, this this now feels very GG. That was a great, a little bit of a nail in a coffin. It is. I mean, it's so it's so tricky to call. Like those knights. Uh, there's, there's a, a hole. hole. There's, there's a hole. hole. Yeah, there's yeah, a yeah hole. they're making it through. 
Um, like the pikes, if you're adding the pikes, you want Fourth those... Fourth town centre from Rex. You want those pikes forward. You need to get them forward. Like, if you're using them to When spend... you have 27 pikes, 14 can be home, 13 can be forward. Sure, sure. I'll, I'll concede <laughs> that. I will concede that. It's just you're, all you're going to be doing at home is chasing. Yeah. And Squires you're be... are so important for Ramul to be having to chase down these knights and not let them do the damage they were willing And like, to as do. soon as as soon as you've got a healthy TC up, like, this TC will counter the pikes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh. No, 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 no. This is filthy. This is some MBL level Mike Monk micro here, eh? MBL, that's the player that um, With the Megan L. Steak and Boo beat the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh. And it was, they beat MBL and T90. I mean, it was one game of five, I think, but nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> you, you taste. I take it. I'll wave. I, I, that'd be on my great tombstone. I would, I, you know what? I'm waving the GB flag. It was great to watch. They double lamed, but there we go. <laughs> Let's back to the game. Only 15 build difference. Ooh. A mole dropping a castle on a town center. A mole is staying here. Mole is putting in a fight. Mole, mole is, is not giving up. Mole is here, and this. Pikes will, pikes will work with a castle. <laughs> I, uh, yep. But you know what goes really well with pikes? A castle. Yeah. A castle is nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you know, if we get pikes and axemen, <laughs> that's a good combination here. That's a strong combo. Uh, I like the scope coming. Oh, I mean, I say scope's counter, but as soon as that castle's up, yeah, crepus to count. Oh, that's that crepus is coming in too late. No, it's not going to go up in time. That village is going to go down oh, first. Uh, no, no. Even with the uh, really annoying monk micro on this, yeah, there's not enough micro in the world to start that castle. I mean, is it no? And, no, and no, yeah, no, Rex, no, no, Rex no. realizes doesn't want to lose all the stone. Um, Very good in and out. Uh, yeah, if just for people Mole, that may not Mole have realized. Drop another one. Bring yeah. another one forward. Drop another Especially one. Especially since Frank Castles are 488 stone only. Some of those might not have realized that, that all the. <laughs> where's the castle? Mole's got. No, no, Mole's just got 488. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Spearman counter. Spearman technically. Sure. Economically, they counter them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have very little to. No, you're, you're not. You're not wrong. No, no, that's you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why. Um, I mean that TC. I mean, how many? Of, how, what's it garrisoned inside that blue TC? Uh, useless has got at the front. Only. Are uh, we? Uh, Ooh, Rex is almost at him. I wouldn't. I. You need to take that out of your control group because that's going to be slightly annoying to to kind of get through. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you've got a castle down. You maybe start thinking about, um, you know, getting to imp, trying to get that forward. Moles not thinking about that. Look at that, 35 no, on. No, no. Thir I say that 35 on food, you can skyrocket right there. Yeah. But I, I think the blend here is another castle, and there it just is. that will oh clear. God. That's so everything. And it's so many farms. So many farms are going to get denied from that. This pressure, mole is. Oh, that mole castle's is, going up. Mole is well top is there, score. There's not even fletching on these castles. I would get fletching. Sure. That plus that extra attack, extra range necessary. Like having from Mole now. Oh, and he's got 360 stone. He's How many relics are in there? Oh no, monks are a garrison. He's, in the, he's, he's castle hopping his way through this. This is beautiful. Oh wait, is this going to be Krepos? Counter Krepos. Um, he's left a gap though. He's got to be careful. Yeah, um, like how going to come in, and at least would be annoying. Pikeman's going to come in and be annoying. Ooh, oh that Krepos is going up quickly. Oh, it's going to be Ooh. close. I where think where are we force, at? You can force the castle. You can yeah, force you can the force the castle. castle. And, um, the Krepos has fletching. They're working on Bakken right now. Yeah, the castle. Ca that castle yeah, goes yeah, yeah. up. Garrison, 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 Garrison. Don't um, die, don't and you die. Know what, you know what a castle can make that Krepos can't? But a boom. But a boom. Yeah, it can get the... Um, are we seeing them being produced? Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Batards! <laughs> Yo! Mole Legends, uh, let's go! Mole now has the Vill lead! Mole has 18 and, more military! And, and, the, and the, 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 um, the Rams are just going to get taken out oh, by the Magnus. I think Mole's done this! I think Mole's done this! I think, I think Mole's <laughs> done this! I think we're going to game four! I mean, this is it. Mole's, Mole's managed to push him. Rex has got 10 on food. Rex has no military. Yeah, and those Rex castles has, deny so much. Rex has had to run and abandon. And there's, so there's a town center south of the monastery that's being attacked by the Mangonel. There's the, the TC that's about to be destroyed by after the Krepos goes down. There's a TC in the middle between the two wood lines. And there's the GG. Round of applause. Ginger. That was a game. Ginger. We've got a series on Yo, our hands. Let's go! <laughs> what a, what a showing! I'm that so was, that we were so scared there for about oh five minutes. It's just it's the one thing you don't want in a final. You want to have you want a series. You want to, you want to take it to at least a you know a next game. Are you are you on the wheel of fortune? No, I was. I keep leaning on it. I'm wondering <laughs> how much I can roll it. Oh, oh. That, that was a solid game. That was an amazing set from game from Mole. I mean, wow! I, I was I was. Uh, 
that was what all you want from a final, isn't it? It ebbed and it flowed. We've got more games. Oh. <laughs> um, but also, what was great was um, Mol, Mol changed it up. As soon as it was like, you know what? This is not working for me. Do you know what I'm going to do? Um, I've got to make sure I use the correct words so we don't get banned on Twitch. But screw it. Let's go forward. That's fine. Screw it. Let's just bung a cast on his face. Yeah. Let's do that. And then let's do another one. I, th I think the biggest change before the cast was the Pikeman switch. Yeah. Because the truth was that... Rex wasn't building anything else except for knights. So when you're going one unit, that's the danger of going one unit. There, there's always a counter to it. You need a combination, and Rex wasn't getting a combination out quickly enough and wasn't reacting to, to what was it, 28 pikemen on the field? Yeah, and I mean, if you haven't got, if, if you haven't got those pikemen, uh, that castle might not go up. Yeah. Because those knights numbers and so on. But it also it was allows, complimentary. allows those pikes to get forward, and suddenly you're fighting, you're fighting the knights in your opponent's base. And you have to you have to take the fights, and then you drop another castle, and all that would have happened if that game had continued, Small would have dropped another castle, and another castle, and it would have gone on and on. And the, just, the, you, you know, know Franks. There's a reason why we keep telling new players to play Franks. Uh, well, they, castle they, rushes and the, the eco upgrades. Eco upgrades. Oh my goodness! You know the, that wheelbarrow, that heavy plow, that bow saw, all of that really kept more think, in the game. I think it was really again. Just there was about a 10 vil difference at one point. Rex 15 was 20. 15 20. If he'd have got that, that um, TC up earlier, I think that could have, I think that could have been earlier. Um, and it let Mole, Mole always kind of manage to stay just enough, just enough within was, reach. With your point to that town center, mm. I think that was Rex's first time not having the correct game plan mm. because he almost tried to go aggressive but then backpedaled. Yeah. So he didn't commit. And then he switched. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't half it. No. You've got to, you've got to pick your, your, your strat and go with. I think if, yeah, that was phenomenal. Are people saying you look pretty? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Had to do a little uh, you thing. <laughs> Hi, everyone. We're, can you see my hand if I go in there? No, I'm too far Not away. Quite. This is the view of the land. Lawless uh, said, I wish they could make it where monks would garrison in the monastery. I think in and could. out, yeah. That, no, that sounds hor I mean... Monks are overpowered enough. <laughs> They're horrific. Whenever um, I, I, there's a particular player who uses a number pad to um, uh, micro. It's his MBL. Mouse. He has the it's, number it's, pad it's, on his mouse. It's, it's Boo. Oh, it's Boo. <laughs> Does well. he really? Not on his mouse, but just uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Can individually. Uh, it's grim. Nutty. It is absolutely grim. So next map, hideout, and suddenly these picks start to uh, come into their own a little bit more. We've got some. Um, well, these are all now. Uh, I think Rex's home map. Yes, I think Berbers now become important because you've got Berbers do pretty well. Tatters and Magyars. Yes, exactly. Um, Teutons can do quite well on hideout. Obviously, mobility is not as important. You can trash if you would like. Oh, Ooh. stop it now. And Renru. Oh, Renru. Renru was fighting for your, it was fighting for your honor. Hand, hand on heart for you. Hand on heart for you. Uh, let's not even uh, <laughs> talk about what Zibs are, like, hypothesize. Let's just see what Zibs they chose. I think we should. I think we should. Mongols, Teutons. Now, 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 now. I feel like there's various ways they can approach this. Obviously, Mongols, mobility. If you can get to Mangadai, I don't know what, you know, even with um, Siege Anger, whatever, I think Teutons are going to struggle against it if we get to unique units. Teutons, however, if they get the trash down, they've got good eco. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I fancy Mongols on this. I fancy Mongols also. I think Teutons are too predictable almost. Mm. Right? So if you're Mongols, if you're Mongols and you think they're going to do it, do you try and go for like, not 14 up. 14 up would be too aggressive <laughs> and it wouldn't work. But like 16, 17 up. You get those scouts out. I, I don't, I mean, again. There's, that, there's this so is many, all mind games now. No, no, sure, 100%. It's, it's that weird trade-off because sometimes you'll see players going for the scouts mm. and they'll be like, I'm going to compete for relics. They play it almost like arena. Right. Like one of the metas for arena. Other times, because you've got the walls already, um, you can go for unique unit fast <laughs> Look castle. Look at this. Rex know, doesn't even care. Things. Not even two walls, uh, one wall down, two walls deleted. Two. And even with and that, that, he's that, pushed the, the zebra. He's pushed the the zebra's like, I'm gone. Bye. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that's, that's <laughs> glorious. Uh, so he will hopefully push that one in. Um, do more sheep spawn outside? Interesting. Yeah, on this version of Hideout. You can get some, some cheeky ones outside. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so... Yus is going to push in his deer. Nothing special to speak of yet. But yeah, it's going to all come down to strategy. 
Um, and uh, uh, I mean, Tootins, as you say, it's not my favourite matchup. They're, they're not bad. There's nothing, you know, we've seen um, uh, in prior games, uh, I'm thinking back to, to Viper beating Leary uh, with Tootins against um, Berbers, and they, but, you know, Leary got the camel arches out, but. Viper countered it with with crossbows in him, <laughs> like like he just if you can get it to that kind of funnel, um, if you can keep it in a very one condensed area, I think you've got a way of playing it. Did you see the spirit um, of the law video the other day about how bad are Turkish skirmishers and spearmen? I did. I think that has proven that upgrades are pointless. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you have a full blacksmith. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, I, I'm interested to see what Mole does. Does Mole, if Mole goes for the boom, I think. Honestly, it might be even better because you'll boom better. There's no question about it. Sure. Right? So if you get up faster, he can still one. He gets fast impetus. Oh, oh, that no. was not, not ideal. Yeah, it looks like... Actually, it looks like... Oh, Rex is no. going to win. Yeah, Rex is going to yeah, win. Yeah, yeah. Ba ba oh, Wait, why is he backing off? Oh, he's bringing Bring the bill. bill. Does the Vil have loom? No, Vil's just going to... Oh, that's... <laughs> that, that is so worth it for Mole. That is so worth it. That's I don't really know why annoying. Rex he's, ran away, but those are two zebras. Two zebras. He's gonna, and if you're if you're gonna delete two palisades to push them in, that is so annoying. Ooh. He might be coming back to uh, to to get those, I'd imagine. With you, I mean, you've got. You to have with, to when you're Mongols. Mongols. I say that. Look at Rex is off. Rex is like, no, nah, bye. I need I need to I need to find out where you are, bud. Yeah, he needs to go and check what's going on. Uh, just in case there's, you know, forward stone and you, it, just in case a Phil's coming forward mm. already. I have to say I'm interested that both players have four on wood. Right? That's usually cognizant of either towers for Tutans or fast castle for Mongols. Yes. I mean, uh, or, or FC from, from, from Tutans. I mean... Or FC, yes. I you're mean, right, there is uh, generally the meta is more tended towards an FC. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it's, this is around the time where we start getting an inclination of what they're thinking. Two going to stone for uh, Rex there. Um, interesting timing. And feudal. So we are going to see some feudal play here. Do you mean here. gold? Sorry, gold. Yes, brain. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to see some feudal play. What does from, Rex do with uh, gold? Rex. I mean, he could be going... Um, archers is the archers are the counter to men arm arm yeah. villagers... Uh, if early enough. I mean, we're seeing the barracks. I mean, this looks to me like, I mean, a little bit late on the barracks, but probably going to be men at arms archers. Maybe, maybe towers archers. Well, I, I think it's going to be straight archers gonna... from Mongols. Mole, on the other hand, mm. what's Mole up to? I feel Mole like he's gonna... still creating villagers. It, I would be surprised if it's just archers. He's going to need something to break down these walls. Oh, then there's a militia. All right. Yeah. There we but go. you know, the time which just felt so off to me. Yeah, it is, it's a little bit late. It's a little bit late. But, I mean, that's probably the result of not taking in those two deer. Mm. So, mm. so, at the end of it, it's worked out quite well for Oh, and Rex might not have even totally thought about that. Yeah. Could so, have just said, oh, I'm Mongols, I know this build, and it might mess up the build because he forgot to bring in the two extra deer. Yeah, it's pushed him back a little bit. And, I mean, it, it's, this is a tricky point for Mole because he's probably not going to expect the uptime this quick. Uh, so he will Maybe end up not losing. This quick, yeah. but he's already three HP behind. He doesn't want to inter yeah, interact no, with no, this. No, he's, he's going to lose his scout, I'd imagine, very shortly. Okay, I'm amazed that all the militia were created in time. There uh, we go. Again, arms this is this is, is a case. You just got to take the fight here. If yeah, you're yeah, yeah, you're dead. Um, just, just hit the guy. <laughs> you, you are slower. You have less attack. And just thank get you. a couple of hits off. Doink. Um, so here come the man at arms. Is it going to be? So it's man at arms with a forward range. Doesn't look like we're going to have any towers. Uh, for the time being, though it might be followed up, might be followed up. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of like the actual, um, I mean, that forward stone could be an issue if if it does go towers. Um, that could have been incredibly um, strong, but we're just going to see whereabouts they go for. Now, this is the thing: attacking on that side, it's a fairly easy wall off now from Mole. Well, Rex might not see that stone. Is the truth, right? Yeah. Oh no, you know, just Mongol scouts. He absolutely sees that stone. It's interesting yeah. that he went from this angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, we'll to your point, it's easy wall up. It's an easy wall up. We'll see where um, uh, that fill forward from uh, Rex goes once he's built the uh, the range. Because if uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes through, he's got to be careful here and get these walls down. Two tiles there, a little bit of micro. Yeah, really All strong. All right, so next Ooh. group of four. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's uh, yes. Um, oh, that's, a, that, that's another. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That goes down. Ooh, that, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice, 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 nice. That goes down. That was really ske sketchy there. 
So Mole is I mean, getting loom yeah, and he's I mean, going to give up on the fast castle. Yeah, I think I think you. Mm, it depends what buildings you go for. No, he's not. No, nope. he is not. No, nope. <laughs> market blacksmith keeping with the program. I mean, you're you're probably not three TCing off this, so you can always sell a oh. hundred stone. Um, Mole needs that barracks. Mole needs that up. archery range. Um, Even if it's a skirmisher, he needs that archery range. I mean, I think your gold is safe enough. It, you just get you get uh, range. Sorry, you get a uh, mangonel out. You're fine. Wait, what's next to the other village? That must be a blacksmith. That uh, Rex was building Stone up there. Stone walls coming down. There'll be some cheers from some people for those. Uh, and it, I'm not sure about that. What this does is stop mole from booming. And I yes. think to, for Rex, that is a victory. Yes, that has paid off. Um, he has got double bit. He hasn't got um, horse collar in. I'd have liked to have seen horse collar down for Rex as well. When you're committing to feudal pressure, you need to get those upgrades. Mole using the market a little bit, gets up to castle aids. Um, he might even long distance with six vills, just, uh, sorry, with four vills, just to pick up, to get to 100 uh, stone. Mm. Uh, and then he can get another car TC down. You've, you've got to do something with your castle age. It can't be enough to just clear up the army in your base. Mm. So you either need to boom, or you need to get your own army out. And the fact that he's gone market blacksmith, I think he's got to try and boom this out. Um, but I don't know. We will we'll see what um, you know Mole's, Mole's thoughts are. And as it's coming round, oof, he's he's going to put another tower down. He bought that tower. That's. I mean, it is so expensive. Like, it's one of those things which I think you can't over uh, sort of understate is using your market. I mean, sometimes you just need to get things done. Like, I need to get this get done. Get her done. I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get my. You know, fletching. I need to get. Is that this. a market? Second market? Yeah. I don't. I don't think. Once you got the tower up, what's the, what's the point? <laughs> you just wall your tower in, maybe. Um, and I think you're gonna be okay. Wall to the tower. Right, all walling from the house to the tower to the tower to the wall would all be sure, cheaper sure. than the market that's about to die. Yeah, that's... That market deleted, is 170... Delete. I don't think that was deleted. That uh, was deleted. Look at all the wood that oh, Bull has in the in. bank. Good, good, good. But these, these are the walls around the tower. They, if these had come down first, like, you, you've got no options. Like, all, all Rex does now is walk back. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's his... Yeah, uh, yeah, it has to be. Um, so what Congratulations, we're in Castle Age. Oh, so a bit more market abuse. Does Mole think he's playing? Did, he has got Saracens. Did he think? No, he hasn't. He, no, he, he, he got it. sniped. He got sniped. Did he, did he think he was still got Saracens? And he's like, you know what? I'm about the market. Free market economy. He is going to somehow manage to get down. He's going to get a TC and he's going to get um, the Siege down. What Siege um, do you go? Manganel or Scorch? The thing is, like, look at the production done by Rex. It's so, like, reductive. Varied. He's got, well, he's got, he's only got three archers out. He's not heavy committed here. No, no. He's not going to be up in too long. He's got 14, he's got healthier eco by far than, uh, than the mole. Um, he did, he's, do you know what, the one thing I don't like, he hasn't got horse collar on those farms. So those farms are not the best in the world. Uh, it's going to be a scorpion. That'll be fine. That'll that'll uh, scare manage. off. Yeah. Yeah. Mole probably should still wall between his uh, his mill and. and uh, yeah, you, you, Mo, you know, Mole has all these options to do nice little walls. Oh, there we go. That I think, I think as soon as the <laughs> shots on the archers, they're, they're lined Ooh. up beautifully, <laughs> like Bro. bully pins. Is that too uh, American of a? No, no. We, uh, we, have ten, we, have, we do it. Ten, we call it ten pin bowling. Yeah, ten and five. Ten and five. Well, because five is for the children. Oh, oh, we don't have the five. Oh, we yeah, have these yeah. little barriers that come up. Oh, on we the have five. for both of them. We have. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. This is not just an amazing AOE tournament. What this is? This is like we're building up our. our yeah, because that's what that, that, that's what we need more. More British Canadian relations. I had yeah. no idea that we were related <laughs> at all. Oh, look! Here's my money with your queen's face on my money. Anyways, hello. Uh, what is uh, mole scorpions? Two town centers. That scorpion is a little bit adventurous. Maybe those 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 men at arms. It does have walls to hide behind. It uh, well, there's a oh, and it, oh. Gap they could have run I'm in so maybe. sad we were a bit too zoomed out to see it. But the two archers go down to one scorpion. Uh, oh. Is always attracted to see beautiful double, double bit action. Only mole. coming in for mole now. That's that's not ideal, but. Yeah, he's got to run away, run away with the scorp. He's mic the scorp like a. Can like you a do uh, Monty Python run away, please? Uh, run away, run, run away! <laughs> we're not. 
uh, old Brits are not the. I mean, I do it's love Monty, Monty Python. Python. It's Monty Python. I love it. I do. Get love over it. yourself. I, I, I will. I will. I love. I <laughs> love it so much. Castle is in from Rex. Count to three. It shall not be two. <laughs> um, good. The Scorp has cleaned up. Also, the Scorp seems to be the best play because if there were towers down, you want the Mangonels. One Scorpion has cleaned up three archers and uh, weakened to a great degree three men at arms. That is crazy. I don't think it's been horrific for for Rex. He hasn't fallen. Well, Rex has, too much. No, no, no. Rex has done a good job. Forced tower, market usage, a scorpion, a siege workshop. Yeah, siege workshop's a biggie. And um, the mar between the market usage and the ta and the siege workshop, this is, I think Rex feels good. And there's Rex Why is going for the manga die. Yeah, and he's walling it off. Manga he's manga doing manga exactly die. what he wants. Yeah. Um, he's Ooh, getting, I say that. He's, Three town centers. I mean, the town center's on, on stone. I don't think he's going to be behind in Vils for very long. I think Rex is in a really good spot now. I think he got he got everything he wanted out of it. He prevented eco upgrades from uh, Mole. He prevented men in arm uh, tower rush. Yeah. I think I think he's still not got horse collar. I do not understand that from from Rex. Maybe he's just forgotten. Um, but that's that's a that's a pretty biggie. I don't know about the Manganel from Mall. No, I don't understand what it's what it's. I don't understand a Mangamel. Yeah, what's the yeah good. <laughs> good. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's just that question: what do you do against Mangadai? And ten vils on uh, on on uh, on stone for for Rex. He's walled off that top side. So uh, it looks like uh, the pressure is going to have to come around the top. No, um, from the bottom. Oh, sorry, yeah, that's what I'm sorry. That's what I meant. Round the bottom. He's Power bottom his, strategy. His, I like it. He's got his scouts, um, kind of keeping an eye on it. And most of the resources are kind of, you know, there's three or four patches of gold up on that on that side. Finally, horse collar. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, uh, and and bow saw. Um, oh boy, that's that. I, I I there's one strategy only for Rex right now. It's castle. Yep, castle. It's manga die. Now, you got to keep it relatively safe, but also, bear in mind, like, Mole, Mole's not walled at all. No. Like, he's got he's got these ones down, he's got a couple of towers, but... And only now with the Scorpion has he realized the house wall that Rex has built. Yeah, and how he's how he's kind of uh, closed off. Uh, and yeah, Rex is now caught up with the Ville Count. Third TC coming down for Mole. Better um, economic upgrades, finally, for Rex. Yeah. You know, Rex feels in a great position. Yeah, I think he's, that, that castle will be coming down very, very shortly. And he can maybe even add, a, add another TC, really boom it, um, and just kind of aim for, uh, aim for, aim for Imp. Um, and, uh, and then you've got those Mangalai well, to fight. Where's, that, where's the castle being dropped? castle being dropped very safely. Yeah, on the, mm, that is incredibly safe. I mean, it's safe, but it's also, uh, look at the resources it, it secures him. Oh, uh, no, no, it's, no, no, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. on the hill. It's record. Yeah, no, it's a great yeah, castle. Yeah, yeah. It's just safe. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's. He, I think with he knows there's a bit of siege out and about. You know what? I, you know what I think would be the plan now for Mole. Imp, Onger, cut, attack. <laughs> I think that's really the plan here. You do the full um, cheesy hideout strategy. You know, the only, I say that it's a huge you know, thing to cut. What through. would happen to me is I'd do that, and then the the last last bit I chop, there'd be forty Mangadai would just run through it, and I'd yeah. go, oh, oh, oh yeah. shit. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. um, so yeah. So that's the go-to plan for uh, Khmer on this map. Ballista Elephants and, and uh, Hussars. The, yeah, yeah, <laughs> in the middle. Uh, fourth TC for Mole. He's, uh, I mean, eco counts very similar. No, this is such a passive game so far. But, you know... <sighs> and then who does the passive game lend itself to? I mean, uh, compositions at the end. Mangadai, Hussar raiding. But, I uh, mean, uh, drill siege. Drill siege, some of that. Versus ironclad. Crenellations. Mm, I, I just yeah, the siege just doesn't Teutonic work. Teutonic knights. Yeah. No, well, none of, no, yeah. I mean, maybe. Step one. We I get think, Teutonic knights. I think. Happy dance. <laughs> uh, In a pirate and costume. They, they just slowly walk <laughs> towards the manga die. <laughs> I've got a cape, and we have lots of bows and arrows, <laughs> which go pew 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 pew. pew, 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 pew. Um, I mean, maybe you can try and play for like a big paladin push. Sure. Um, I mean, I'm also. But, but students, you know, their bonus isn't from doing better against arrow fire; it's against infantry fire, infantry sure, attack. Sure, you know, sure. and there's the manga die. There's two out. There's two more on the field. The other the, side the, behind the house wall is going the, to get castled. I like the, I like the castles. The, the only issue you've got is that you're going to be producing on two sides of the map, which can be a little bit annoying. Um, but there's going to be a couple of villas going down and there. And 
for Mole, and he now knows that there is a castle out. Oh, no, just T90 passing. Just don't worry about it. Steve, did you, did you see anything, Steve? No, no, did no. You, no, no, nothing. Andrew, did you see anything? No, 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 we're good. No, no. We're good. All yeah. right. Chill. <laughs> This is where, this is where, you know, the pros, the pro, um, I remember um, Vipus was like, oh, there was a scout there because I saw the deer move on the mini map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you're yeah. like, get in the bin. No, 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 no. <laughs> Whereas normal players don't see Magadai on, on the screen. <laughs> Whereas, we're, like, This pros, is the problem with not having Fletching or Bot kittens. These villagers are still alive being, for no good reason. Being annoying. <laughs> um, has Mole noticed? Or is he just like, oh, I don't care. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. Anyway. He hasn't noticed. Oh, yeah, oh, he's noticed. His own castle is going to get See, I, this, Mole's trapping himself in. Yeah. Right? The fourth town center trapped him in. This castle is very oh, trapping him in. Oh, my goodness. Look at the wall on the bottom right-hand side from Rex. Oh, this no. Is, this is... <laughs> I mean, that's that's pretty big. I want to see fortified wall. Fortified, no, yeah. Namely because fortified what? walls are so pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that scorpion's dead. Um... I mean, I'm intrigued. We haven't seen any monkers out yet from uh, from Rex. It feels like with no one's the, collected a relic from from all the map control he's got. Rex he has could, a oh, there's a monk. He could snipe some. Uh, I'm presuming that's uh, going around the top at the moment. Yep. That'll be a couple of dead mang. Mm, one. Oh, he tries the the cheeky cheeky splits, but not cheeky quite Nando's. working. See, now you are you're fully indoctrinated into British culture. There's a there's a wrestler named Will Ospreay, and he has a move called Cheeky Nando. So Does that's he? Where the connection is. I love it. I love it. <laughs> all right, wall goes up. Rex is just giving all this pressure, and Mole kind of accepting the position. Yeah, I mean, he's pushed five fills ahead, but Imp coming in for both only foot three or four seconds apart. Oof, this earlier, but the, the difference is... Those mega guys are sitting on that goal, and Mole it, can do really irritating. jack about it. Well, what, what, does, what does Mole do? What does he make? He's got, he's got no production. Oh, oh that's, that's one thing he can do about Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you, we aren't watching the mega guy just... Whoop. Nice, nice, nice. All right, it's all death. <laughs> Sorry, we're just pausing to pose for a lovely photo. <laughs> With the fans, what do we do about the fans? Yeah, that was not that was not candid at all. That was not candid at all. <laughs> we, we, Granny's taking enough <laughs> candid photos of us. We wanted to go full uh, ham on it. Oh, we love it. I, st I still think it. Onager, whatever, into Rex's base. Because the uh, truth is, yeah, students I, don't get beyond scouts, right? No, just scouts. But I mean, they're great scouts, but yeah. they're just scouts. I mean... It I think like I think yeah, you have to hurt Rex's economy. I think, the, and uh, yeah. when you're walled off on both sides, there's castles on both sides. The thing is, like Mongol, uh, Mongols, as long as they've got the Mangadai, will will stay alive. Mm. The, the issue is the gold units they're going for. So uh, it looks like we're going to see um, Cavalier. Oh, this Paladin. is going to be a long one. Cavalier, want a beer Paladin. or? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, so in, one bar in, stools or when, <laughs> when when you're when you've got your one v ones, we like it's all about keeping your gold units alive. And Mangadai, pew pew, they're shooting from the back. I'd imagine we're going to see like Mangadai ballistics coming in. Yeah, um, I got fortified my wall, but on the wrong team, no, on the wrong, <laughs> on the wrong, wrong player. I look, so the pressure's going to go <laughs> each way. I don't think Mole knows that it's completely stonewalled off on the other side. I don't know. Um, I don't know. That, I, I, <laughs> I mean, that's because all the pressure that he's building stables, he's going to run into walls on the other side. Um, whereas I think the pressure is going to come from the top side from uh, from Rex. All um, right, Imp in from Rex, he immediately gets Trebs. Imp in from Mole. Which side? Which side? I'm going to ask. Uh, and Cavalier. Yes. So in it's going to be it's going to be the Paladin play. So the, Mole, the thing is, Mole could have been making stuff this whole time. But look at that! Oh my God! I haven't noticed the wood count. Three thousand wood for Mole. Oh my god. Mole goodness. hasn't dropped any of the that very is, cheap Tudin farms. That is grim. That is. I think that's. That's. I, I was wondering why there's no night production. There, there's a reason. Yeah. There's no stables. There's no farms. And if this does go longer, like the the biggest issue Mole has got is that the gold units. Oh for no, those villagers. Rex's, oh no, those villagers. Rex's. Rex's. They valuable. have ballistics. It's they all have gone. It's all gone. Botkin. Oh, five villagers down just Bok. like that. There's Rex's, a treble. Rex's. Rex's units don't die. If you send in 15 Cavalier here to clear them up, what do, the, what do, the manga, what do they do, Mangadai? They run away! They run away! 
Oh, no, Seize Engineer even in for the trap. Uh, Bracer in for the Manga Die. There's only three Cavalier on the field. Yeah, I think this is looking pretty rough for them all. Okay. You know, we, uh, let's take a deep breath. <laughs> this is what we thought last game. Yeah, we did, and he brought it back. He brought it back. Are you hoping for the push through the middle? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, like, entirely the, what I want. The final, the final like, survival the tactic. Even defense upgrades coming in for the Manga Die. Bloodlines, uh, you know, that's, that's actually that is not a goal that mine camp I want to build when I know there's what 12 mega die right there. Oh, th I think this might be the moment. Yeah, all right. Oh, oh, nope. All right. That's some really, really strong play here from uh, Rex. I mean, it's just mega die do mega die. If you can get to that mass, I mean, they're gonna they're gonna munch through these cavalier. Unless I thought they would. But again, it's the it's the main difference, isn't it? Mega die just choo choo choo. Right choo, choo, choo. Away. Yeah, no, I mean. Uh, and there's the trebs for the push, right? Mole has one treb. Yeah. Oh, oh! That's not big enough. That, okay. Uh, you needed to hit the Mangadai there. You weren't going to kill a treb with one Manganel shot. Um, I'm intrigued. I'm guessing that Mangadai are being produced from both castles. So Rex is, some of them are commuting from <laughs> the bottom all the way around. <laughs> See, this is why Rex needs to cut through his wall line. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> And that's going to be a forward castle from Rex there. Securing oh, that's why I'm 1300, because I'm stuck with a one-track <laughs> mind. <laughs> You're like, my game plan for this game. And we're like, you, Ginger, you don't know the map yet. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but, but. Oh, uh, this is just, again, I mean, we go back to game one, game two. Rex has just played it clinically. Yeah. He's, he's gone, right, I need to get the pressure. In Feudal Age, he produced three archers. Three, that was it. He, he knew he didn't need to do more. He forced two towers. No, his game plan was Bangi Dying. If you can't make it in Feudal Age, there's no point making anything. Yeah. Or too much of anything. And I there is a treb out there from Mole, but, I mean, that's just going to get sniped by yeah, these Bangi Yeah, there's nothing protecting it. I mean, going to be some micro. These two trebs might go down, but no, Mole's going to call it, and that is the GG. Fantastic play from both, but in the end, Rex just just too strong, too the clinical. Game plans all in place. off the charts. Knew what to do each map. Knew what sieves were best for it. And despite the first two games going, I'm going to say quickly relative mm. to the time, the last game same thing. Had a game plan and played it perfectly, and knew that late game was the option there for. Mongols on hideout. I think Rex also, he played the draft incredibly well. Getting Berbers yeah. and Mongols. Yeah. You know, if you've got this, if your opponent's got Mongols on this map, you're like, I want to get the Berbers. Because because that UU is just, it's so strong. Yeah. It's so strong. You've got to have something to counter that. Amazingly strong. Teutons just don't have anything that they can bring forward to that. So in uh, a minute or so, we're going to be jumping over to um, Mangamel, who's going to be chatting to our two uh, fantastic finalists. Um, who are just, out, who are just off the camera talking to each other. You can just, see their arms. <laughs> this, I mean, this has been part of the... Obviously, having the finals at a LAN is something really yeah. special that doesn't happen for many tournaments, like, ever, really. No, it's nice that we all got together and are... You know what's even better about this? Some of us went to bed early, some of us went woke up early. We made breakfast, we didn't make a mess. This has been a clean... There, we, some I have of us seen did go people to bed. showered. Some, some people did go to bed a little bit late. I was very proud. I was I was the the last ranked game and the, the earliest. <laughs> Lost both. Um, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? But we are ready to go over for the interviews. So we're going to go over to Mangamel with both our players from the final. Hello, everyone. So I'm here with our two finalists. Uh, we've got Mole and we've got Rex. First of all, can I just have a huge round of applause for both of them for getting to this stage? Incredible achievement. Make it loud so everyone can hear on the internet. Good, good, good. Fantastic. So. First of all, huge congratulations for winning. I just want to ask both of you in turn, how does it, how does it feel playing in front of people rather than maybe in your bedroom, in the back room? It's pretty nerve wracking. Yeah, it's pretty nerve, should I hold it or are you holding it? You okay. Hold it. okay, it's pretty nerve wracking. Uh, it's also weird not playing on your own computer. It's probably better than mine, but it's still a weird <laughs> setup. So trying to make sure that it feels like mine is kind of good. But um, I don't know, the noise isolating headphones they were all right. I didn't hear, hear too many things. There was one. There's one time. It's always a bit of a delay as well. There's one time on the hideout game. I almost got through your wall, and you walled it just in time. I heard everyone go, "Ooh!" <laughs> so yeah, it's it's nerve-wracking. Yeah. <laughs> Anything to add to that, Mole? Uh, it's weird. It just is weird. <laughs> I think once you're in game, you kind of focus. It's like you lose track of it, but it's it's not comfortable. <laughs> So both of you actually had different paths to where you are now. So Rex, you started off in the cup division 
and Mo, you started off and you uh, kicked my ass in the group stage <laughs> and rose through that way. Um, how do you feel that's changed your tournament experience? Do you think it's had a positive or negative effect, the journey with dropping down or rising up? Um, I think it made a massive difference. I am an arena player <laughs> uh, and I realised very quickly the people I played in the cup draw, low or low or not, they all absolutely, you know, they all beat me. And I realised maybe I shouldn't be an arena player, maybe I should play a bit more in Arabia. And so I started just try hiding on Arabia for about a month, and I think it's set me, put me in good stead. So, yeah, thanks to the guys who smashed me, that was that was fantastic. <laughs> and for yourself, Mo? Uh, no, I've I've just enjoyed every part of it. Uh, I yeah, it, I hope everybody that I played in the group stage enjoyed it. It was. <laughs> uh, but I mean it probably helped just to be able to just build confidence in some of the maps for me just get used to them a bit yeah wonderful so I'm just gonna go and jump into was it game number two on beach fight so I have never seen an uptime like that uh, was this planned was this a strat did you prepare this can you yeah, it was it was planned. I did it against um, Wildebeest first. Um, I went just 15 pop up with Khmer, make archers, deny everything, but then he just made scouts and killed me. Um, then I realized actually, yeah, you can't go up that quickly and get a range and a blacksmith, so I just thought, forget it, go scouts, they're more fun anyway. Um, so yeah, it was planned. I actually played it against the AI a few times. The AI was uh, not as good as Wildebeest, so that's annoying, but yeah, it, it, it helped me uh, prepare for this set. Thank you. So Mo, when you saw the Khmer, were you expecting a 15 pop-up? Were you expecting that kind of fast uptime? Oh. Uh, I knew they were strong for the map. Uh, I don't think I was expecting that quick an uptime. Caught me by surprise. Uh, just put me under pressure the whole time. Like, didn't have a barracks for ages. Just didn't respond properly at all. So it was just really well played. Like couldn't really do much. <laughs> yeah, I can really relate to this, the stress and the pressure that you felt um, when you had scouts running into your base and you didn't even have a barracks up. It was, oh, it was rough, it was rough. But thank you both of you. I think we're gonna jump to the prize ceremony here. So first up, we have our runner up. Big round of applause for the mole. Presented by our one and only sexy pirate. Fantastic. And I am proud to present our winner of the plate bracket, Uslosaurus Rex. Yay. There we go. Perfect. And we have our very own plate. Who, who made this, by the way? Who made the, the actual IRL plate? Because it's, it's beautiful. Sar Sarlacc, huge shout out to Sarlacc here. Beautiful plate. Fantastic craftsmanship. Cool, so I think after this, we're gonna go into just a little, little break just while we set up for the possible highlight, the high point of the event with uh, the cup final coming up ever so shortly. Thanks guys. <laughs>